And we are back with another Black Window Cream podcast, new episode every single Wednesday and Sunday. I'm your host, Ben Haggerty, a.k.a. Ben Real Verse World. And today's guest is my homie, MacWap, Schoolboy Q's DJ. He is also the member of one of the biggest rap labels in the game, Top Dog Entertainment. And he is also a YouTuber. MacWap has toured the world multiple times with Schoolboy Q as his DJ and has been with the TDE label since the beginning. He created his YouTube channel, MacWap TV, to vlog his crazy lifestyle on the road and has really started picking up steam with his own content as he builds up his personal brand. WAP is an all-around creative with some amazing stories, so I'm excited for you guys to hear this episode. Some of the things that we talk about are his high school days in Compton, where he found out his friend Kendrick Lamar was a rapper after hearing one of his songs on his friend's PSP. Him working as a janitor after graduation and ditching shifts to be in the studio with Kendrick and TDE doing whatever needed to be done to grow the label. Management, booking, promotion, driving, you name it, he did it. His first tour with J-Rock where he barely knew anything about DJing and was learning on the fly, eventually ending up locking in with Schoolboy Q as his DJ after developing his skills. A big wake up moment he had when Q sent him home from tour after he kept fucking up the show. MacWap dives into how this changed his entire perspective on his career and how it set him up to start building his own. Lastly, we dive into MacWap's current and future plans for his own brand, his aspirations to start producing music with his major artist connects, building his YouTube channel, and more. This episode is one for the books. You definitely won't want to miss it. But if you're new to turning into the podcast, you are probably wondering What the fuck is black with no cream? Great question. Black Window Cream is the illest educational resource for content creators fueled by caffeine. Or at least I take my coffee Black Window Cream, but you can drink or not drink whatever caffeine you fuck with and still be a part of our community. We have thousands of members from all around the world working together by sharing content, asking for feedback, passing tips and tricks along to one another with the goal of pushing each other to become the best motherfucking content creators on earth. And you can join our private group if you want to by going to bwnc.com slash join. We would love to fucking have you. Please join. All right, that's it. Enjoy the work week. Keep creating. Make sure to tune in every single Wednesday and Sunday for a new Black Window Cream podcast episode. And if you enjoy this episode, leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. Every review helps this podcast grow and reach more creators out there, which helps us continue to create this content for you guys every single day. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Black Window Cream. Subscribe to us on YouTube to access all of our educational content and share this episode out with someone who needs it if you find it helpful. Um, and without further ado, I bring to you my episode with MacWap and the most epic podcast intro ever created right motherfucking now! <laughs> Attention. If you stop this podcast recording at any time, you will die. I don't want to die. Do you want to live? Yeah. You have 24 hours to share this podcast with five people or you will die. I'm kidding. You won't die. You're just weak shit for not sharing. And the winner of the best motherfucking podcast goes to... Goes to... Black with no cream. What do you think? It's so fucking dumb and so fucking Ben Haggerty. I knew you would say that. All right, that's good enough. <laughs> we back. Anyway. We back on this shit. Yeah, Today's yeah. Today's special guest, my boy, MacWap. The one and only, yours truly. <laughs> well, man. MacWap do what he do. Um, this shit I try to get since I started the podcast. Right, right. You're a hard man to find. Yeah, man. Mr. Dude, he wants himself. Talking to the motherfucking mic so people actually hear you. Oh, I'm not in the mic. I thought I, I thought we was good. No, you can you can move it around. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah there you go. Boom. So, um, yeah, it's been a long time coming. I met you at Craig's house forever ago. Yeah, it's and, been a minute. And then yeah. became your roommate uh, in 2016 on a tour bus for sure. a Blank Face tour. Um, but for people who don't know you, describe to, to the people. Well. How would you describe yourself? YouTube sensation? Um, all of the above. I'm like the illest in TDE. We're gonna start there. Okay, yeah, let's you start there. I mean? We're gonna start there. Right. Do your Googles if you haven't. You get what I'm saying? We're gonna just. Well, should I go through the resume? I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, flex on them. Flex on them. I'll flex on them for you in the pre intro. Mm -hmm. But you can come through. Let's see what so you So listen, said. man. It's Big Mac Wap. The one who discovered all these artists. <laughs> yes, yes, we go. We're gonna just do all that. Just for the these, these for all the new, the new viewers, the, the new listeners. Yeah, yeah. We just gotta give them what they like. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them, man. Hold so it's back. me, man. I'm really like, really low key. I'm like the president of TDE, but like in the shadows. You get what I'm saying? Okay, so right. I really, I'm really like one of the root, the, 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 the one of the founders of this stuff. For real, for real. You know what I'm saying? There's yeah. only a few people that really started TDE. It's like I don't want to go through the list, but. I'm one of them. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I don't want to give them yeah, any yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. publicity. Yeah, yeah, but man, it's, yeah, it's not about that. It's, right? it's all just the MacWap show yeah. on the Black on Black with No Cream podcast. Yep, 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 yep. So yeah, man, I really just do what I got to do or do what it takes to uh, 
get TD to where it gotta go. He's humble as fuck, but it, dudes traveled the whole goddamn planet. That's a fact. Multiple times. That's a fact. Multiple times. That's a fact. But you still post as if it's your first time there. Oh my god, I'm in Australia at the fucking the thing with the arches and shit, and you're yeah, out you gotta there. appreciate it. It's always good. You to do. See. You do seem to be a person who appreciates for the culture sure. and the places for you go sure. to. For sure, hundred percent. Um, but also, you started your YouTube channel not too long ago. Yeah, like I had the, to, man. I got to show him. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. Because the, show the him, content, bro. the things that you have access to are like, uh, it's very rare shit, right? It's a fact. Like you've been around the block for since forever, so you've known everybody. You've been around everybody. You've like experienced shit. A lot of people haven't had to, like, really the archival shit from even before you started your channel would be. Sick as fuck if you start releasing Man, that shit. For real, for real, for real. But what I mean on the channel, what's your goal with that shit? It's just a day in the life with MacWap? Man, it's so much with the channel to be honest, being like to be real, I started the YouTube, man, just to help build my brand. Right. Like, you get what I'm saying? I think that's like one of the best ways to build a brand is like YouTube. It's it's really slept on, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So I started the YouTube to help bring, build the MacWap brand, man, because I feel honestly like if you got your brand where it's going, or with, if you got your brand right, bro. You could be like Snoop Dogg. <laughs> like, you really like, look at Snoop, bro. His brand is like the illest. Like, you get mm. what I'm saying? He really like the biggest in the world and in reality, like the right. biggest artist. Right. So I looked at him, bro, like, you got to get that brand like Snoop Dogg's for real, for real. So. But you you do have like uh, the WAP Nation or yeah, whatever. Yeah, WAP Nation. Yeah, WAP Nation. And yeah. then you got merch galore. You got for mad sure. shit. For sure. You got to give them options. <laughs> you got to give <laughs> them know. options, man, for sure. But, for sure. but all that shit, you, you slowly like got into that recent, yeah. like when you start the channel, like two years ago? A year and a half ago? Yeah, like a year and a half ago, for sure. Was that before uh, the champion tour? It was like right like a week before. Okay, so like well, you had before. it with the intentions of like, I'll start with that shit and that'll be yeah, like exactly, my main lead in exactly, content? Exactly, Good. exactly. Because I was, I feel like I told, told you you should yeah, do that for shit. Sure. 100%. Like a lot of people tell me like, for sure, I'm content king in reality. For you real. get what I'm saying? Like for real, for real. For like, real. So like, yeah, man, just cut the camera on like, and it's just going to go crazy. Like, you get what I'm saying? So. Yeah. I feel like it was needed for TDE because we don't really put out that much shit. So right, like, right, right. I feel like I could take advantage of that that void. And there's no holdback for you to do that shit. Oh no, not at all. That's what's not crazy. Is that it's so funny that you <laughs> found like this crazy loophole? Because I hear now it's getting a little tighter for people to get oh, their yeah. content out. Oh, for sure, for sure. Uh, and you <laughs> you literally just shoot the same shit yeah. that the videographer be shooting, don't and worry. then they're making like complicated edits, and you're just like. Yeah, easy and then you're like, yeah, man. there we go. Yeah, man, get the people what they want. But I'm this proud like, of you, bro, because you've been putting it out. Like nah, you do, thank you, you, bro. you make, you get thank it done. You. Thank you. Because it's easy. Because you'd be literally like, oh no, I'm gonna go explore this shit. I'm gonna walk around, and then you're like way far from the venue when Facts. we be pulling up the cities and Facts. shit. So Facts. you're making time for it after a show or after like a music video happens. You go and cut your videos and Facts. like really get the content. Try to get it done when you got to, man. Like yeah. I really learned from you, bro. Like just stop going out there to try to have fun. All this shit, man. You got to get the job done, bro. Like you got to really take this shit serious. Like, well, and you got it out of the way. Like you've done it like you've done ha you went out and had fun you did the shit oh, you know facts, what i mean you've facts, seen facts, enough facts, facts, shit facts. that you can now like kind of sacrifice some of that for real for but real. do you feel like it's still important to like go go explore shit or find new opportunities like especially now in your vlog you can really turn that in like it's a reason to go for out real, now real. you know what i mean yeah no like to, for, for real for real like where i come from bro it's just best to, to think outside the box and just go do other stuff you get what i'm saying so when i first started touring that was my whole thing it's just like yo bro I don't know how long it's gonna last, so I gotta just see what all I could. You know yeah. what I mean? For real, for real. So that was like my initial thing, like touring is just seeing everything. Even right. when I was up in Compton, bro, just I gotta go see everything. Like, right. For real, for real. So okay, let's go back to that. So where are you from and like when did you start finding music as like your source of uh passion, I guess you call that that? To be honest, bro, um Eminem. <laughs> like Listen to Eminem, yeah, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, like seriously, like he was just just different, like you get what I mean. So once I like heard Eminem and then the DMX, like all that kind of stuff, right. that was just like really my gateway. Like yo, that was that's it. But what what like were you, was this in like high, Eminem was like junior high, right, or like grade school shit, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. So you listen to that shit exactly when, when you go to school, and then you're <clears throat> like you're kind of hearing that as inspiring you musically, like you just have interest in the, that music. Just yeah, just music in general, bro. Just like it could take you elsewhere. Like you could just. Just put your emotion, all the emotion you could get off in the music. Like I felt this pain through the right. music and shit. You get right. what I'm saying? Like, so that right there was like, yo, I gotta really just see what's up. I got, I know I'm gonna be involved in music somehow. Right. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. that was that. So then, sure. what was like, what was your upbringing like? Like, what what did you do as a kid and shit? Like, where you, go go through where you from in L. A. Man, bro. So I'm Compton, California. You okay. get what I'm saying? Originally. Right. You know what I mean, so upbringing was just like every, for the most part, every other kid in Compton just all fucked up. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Right. It's like really fucked up. So. Hell yeah, bro. Like, for me, man, it, what saved me was thinking outside the box, just knowing that it was more possible. You get what I'm saying? Like, just. But is it, 
is it easy to get into that mindset like to think like oh there's more than us because i think that one of the things i've heard through interviewing people like yeah. you talk to tf and these different people like you grow up in this shit it's easy to get boxed in quickly and for, sure. for also people not to like want to move past like where they're at or understand that there's more to life than whatever you grow you know you're you born into this, this shit right like right. i didn't want I, I was born in iowa but it's not like i wanted to stay there you had the casey's pizza you've had that shit for sure, for sure. that's right lovely, lovely. Yeah, thank you but um but you know what i mean like how because you breeze over that shit really lightly like yeah it was a fucked up it was fucked up <laughs> yeah, what's right. fucked up about it for people who don't understand because that the power of all this shit to me the thing that's the illest shit the most motivating shit about you the rest of everybody in td or any honestly in rap in general right right is that you get born you got born into a, a circumstance that was different than mine right <clears throat> sure and for you to grow up in that world that you guys grow up in is is completely different than where my shit was a bubble that I'm walking around right, in. Like right. I'm just walking around a bubble and I have no idea about the outside world and all this shit. And then I grow to learn all these things that people go through and that shit is insanely challenging, right? Yeah. Like it's a it's a completely different feat aside from just XYZ. So you have to go through all kinds of crazy shit. And I feel like it's easy for you to skip over it because you lived it your whole life in it. Yeah, you know what sure, I mean? But sure. to put perspective on, you made it out. You know what I mean? Like you really you though to be able to see the whole planet because of music, because of sacrifice, all the shit that you guys were able to do and pull yourself out of a certain situation, like that's right. mad interesting to me. Not for sure. You for know sure. what I mean? So like, what was it? What was some of the shit that you'd have to like reflecting on it to think about how crazy it is where you are now? You know what I mean? Bro, for, to be honest, man, it all start with like just decisions. Mm. You get what I'm saying? You just gotta know to just make the right decisions. To be honest, like, because if you it's you could get caught up in the bullshit so fast up in the city. You right. get what I'm saying? Like, you just gotta keep the bigger picture for for a lot of people man it's no big picture for them you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. it's just content that's it right you get what i'm saying so for me dog it was just knowing bro it's just it's just more to it you get what i mean like i seen everybody fall victim to the streets yeah you get what i'm saying like so i'm like bro like what else is it <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. like so sports or music like <laughs> for real for real like that's the only shit right mm. sports and music and i knew that like that was a, that was the reality right you get what i'm saying it's Either you're gonna gang bang, get killed, put in jail. That's this is this is the only option, it's for real, for real. Yeah. Gang banging, you're gonna just get put in jail or or you're gonna die. Damn. Period. You get what I'm saying? So if it, if it ain't that, like the education that gets only so far you're gonna go. <laughs> you get what I mean? Yeah. Like like at my high school, bro, we didn't have fucking credits. You get what I'm saying? So I already knew, like, all right, this bullshit. You get what I mean? Like What did you have? What was what's the bro, alternative? Man. Like you just go and then if you do a couple of years. Honestly, then you get man, out. I don't fucking know, bro. Like, like they it was we had no accreditations, like whatever that mean, bro. We th that was going on in high school, like you yeah. know what I'm saying. It's me and K dot. We I don't know what the fuck going on. Like, right, you get what I'm saying. Yeah. So for me, I'm like, bro, I'm gonna play basketball and do music, and we're gonna just figure this shit out from here. Right, man. you get what I'm saying. Luckily, nigga, I ran into K dot. Like man, this nigga going to school, and fucking one of the homies like, yo, you know your boys like like he a rapper and shit. You get what I'm saying? I'm not knowing none of this shit. Like he just a homie and shit. That's He's your cool. homie, but yeah, never, yeah, he like, never told like, you. Like bro, I swear to God, I'm like, I'm not knowing none of this shit. Right, like, right, right. These niggas, they playing, this, playing fucking songs, his first uh, his first mixtape, which happened to get him signed. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my nigga Day Free. You <laughs> mean, if, if, hey, hey, bro, if you didn't Shout go, out to Dave. hey, I'm gonna tell you that story. Yeah. But listen, this nigga played K-Dot's song on a PSP. You get what God I'm saying? damn. Yeah, 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 it was like that. Like, you know what I mean? Shout out PlayStation 2. Yeah. Because that was an ill system. Let's not, let's not cap. <laughs> let's not cap. Uh, PSP. PSP. Fuck, I haven't thought about that shit in forever. Think about that, bro. You can play MP3s. He had the song. He had the nigga whole mixtape. Okay. So he played a song on a uh, PSP, bro. Right. And I'm like, what? Like, this nigga, <laughs> I'm right. really hard. You know what but I'm was saying? anyone really rapping at that time? Like, in, in, going to school with you? Like, was Hell that some yeah, pe yeah, people yeah, started yeah, picking yeah, up yeah, rap? For sure, for sure. We had uh, K Dot. We had fucking Compton Life. He doing his thing right now. Like, okay. It was a couple niggas like right, so really it's common. It's, it became common that people would start rapping, trying to like put music out there. Hell nah, it was just them two really. Oh, <laughs> like okay, just, right. That was really like that you could put your right. money on. Like, so was this shit weird when you found out? Like, or was it immediately like you're like, yo, he has something about him? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like his whole like his whole swag was just like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like he just was different. Right. You know what I'm saying. So. Yeah. Like that right there, like no homo. That's what attracted me to this dude. Like he was just like you get what I mean. Like like for real though. Like like yeah, yeah, yeah like he just, I get it. Like he, I, right. I could tell like he just thought outside the box. Just right. like he, he carried himself. It was like, yeah, just an out the box thinker. Right. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna just I'm gonna go stick around with these dudes and see what's up because they really like helped elevate my little my way. Of, uh, I thought you get what I'm right, saying. So, yeah. Like that's what kept me around him. Like for real, for real. Like he just thought different, moved different. You get what I'm saying. I remember when we were we were like in Germany or some shit. 
Remember the bus that had like the front, the the little front thing? Yeah, yeah. You, like it literally was yours. Yeah, you yeah, took yeah. it over. It was like a max. Yeah, yeah like, you got smoke to see room. the world. You got to see the world. Yeah, the so you could like, bus. you sat above the driver's seat of the bus. So you were, uh, it was a double decker bus. So you like see the shit. But I remember we were up there one, it was like early as fuck, like 5 a.m. or some shit. And you right. started like showing me, you were showing me old ass music that you had of right. Kendrick's and shit. But then you had like the artwork. I think you said you you took the photo or made it oh, yeah, or some yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, but it was yeah. like in school. It was in class. Like him literally in class. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, yeah, looking stupid. <laughs> looking stupid. Let me, hey, yo, this is, the, this is what niggas don't talk about, bro. What? So, we're going to keep it real, k Dot. Like, I don't want to tell. I got to do it, though. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So, this dude, he's in the 12th grade, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm in the 11th. Somehow, you know what I'm saying? We got like 10th grade algebra or something. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah, of course. You get what I, I'm yeah. saying? Ninth grade algebra or something. Way. But that's where that, that that was the origin of that picture. Like we up in that class and he just <laughs> looking stupid. Like it was it was a tight class though for sure, for sure. Was it tight? Yeah, for sure. We had like, you know, like I was telling you, bro, like the um the school system was so fucked up. And that's what made that class ill, because we had subs. Like mm. the whole the whole shit. Right. Like, you get what I'm yeah, saying? It's like so, no permanent teacher. Nothing. It was right. just all cracking up in there. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So <laughs> do I got the witness. Want. Yeah, for real, for real. Like for real. Like real shit. Yeah. Like you get what I'm saying? I know yeah. other blogs gonna pick up off this and then ask Kate out about this shit later. Okay. You get what yeah, I'm saying? Right. Like, I like that. Why wouldn't they? Like yeah. this is the illest podcast. Yeah, you get it's what I'm saying? Like, this is how I go. Yeah, thanks. You get what I'm saying? But like, yeah, nigga, that's where I got the witness. These dudes like Kendrick and uh Compton Life doing like freestyles. Like you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like shit was so ill, bro. In class. In class. Yeah, right. That's tight. So ill. Like, so for me, dog. Like bouncing off the Eminem, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I already knew he was like he was ill. So me hearing K Dot, that's where I like I was like, yo, this dude is like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like he's got some. Yeah, like for real, like because that's who I got introduced to. Good hip hop was Eminem. Mm. So if I heard a nigga like on that level, but nigga he in the fucking <laughs> like tenth yeah, grade right, or something. Yeah, right, 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 right. You know what I'm you saying? You already know. I'm like, oh yeah. But was it like were you, you weren't DJing or anything at the Hell time? Hell no. Right? Like, so what was how how did you fulfill yourself musically aside from just knowing them, or were, was it more so about just being involved in what they were doing? Nah, bro. I was just like, honestly, dog. I was, I was just so into underground music, so much ill shit, right? right. And I used to just play it for K Dot, like just play fucking. I used to get laughed at a lot, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fucking, fucking playing um, Swisser House. I don't know if it's like some old school underground Houston shit. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah. just some old school shit. Right. And I used to just be playing this shit, like yo, y'all gotta get onto this. Y'all gotta get on this chopping screw shit. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then like fucking a year later. It was this dude, Mike Jones, pop out. Like, you mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? And this is the dude I was, the underground shit I was listening to. Yeah, I love that shit. You get what I'm saying? So, so for me, it was like, all right, in a sense, that's like discovering, trying to break new artists. That's like DJ shit. Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Just finding new music. Yeah. That was my whole bag. So now I just go hand in hand with what I do now. Damn, that's crazy. You get what I'm saying? That's <laughs> like, really just, fucking funny. That's crazy shit, though, right? Like, for sure. But for you at the time, to be in school, you start like finding out that you're kind of like the goat for absorbing music, Facts. right? And introducing Facts. music. Facts. So at that point, you said like you looped in Kendrick with Dave. No, hell no, hell no. I thought you just said you brought you introduced him to T D. That was a uh, wait, no, hell no, that was Cap. I was capping. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that was I was just fucking around. <laughs> Them niggas brought me to T D. Kendrick and they Dave. They brought you. Yeah, oh, okay, where? Yeah, so yeah, he he knew Dave. Yeah, yeah. Dave and K Dot was already cool. Right, okay. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, no, no, I'm just a little bro. Them niggas right, brought right, me. Right, in right, reality. Yeah. Don't quote me on that, people. You get what I'm saying? But no, in reality, K Dot the one that brought me to TD. Okay, so so wait, what, at what point in life was that? Was that uh, way later or around that time? Like right after I graduated high school, like 2006. So I, did you start? When did you start actually DJing? Or did they just bring you in because nah, you're a just, guy? You're just the guy right now. I would, yeah, I would just, right. I would just, I'm just the ill dude in reality. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm not tooting my own horn, people. This is this is all facts. Go check the YouTube, MacWap <laughs> TV. I'm not capping in that. You get what I mean? Right. But like, K Dot just, I gotta ask K Dot that too, though. Like, why did you really bring me around? Like, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. He just really, he chose me. He changed my life, like for real, for real. This is like, ain't that shit wild? It's, it's wild, bro. Like, it's really wild. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, that's fucking. Like for real, for real. I really don't know what made this nigga bring me to TDE, but. All I can say, I was just so ill. <laughs> like, no, for real. Like, I was just so cool. Like, but isn't that crazy? Like, to think, like, to skip forward now that he's, like, literally made music with Eminem? Um, no, it's not crazy to me, though. I mean, it's not. I'm just saying, like, at the t to imagine that shit happening at that time where you're just like, yo, this is cool. And I'm uh, the one person that kind of put me onto this shit is this artist. And then you fast forward to the point where, like, they're the two biggest in the shit. I mean, it's not crazy yeah, to know like that he that. could collab. He could collab with. I mean, he's the guy. Like, no, he like should have a, songs with every single person that we've ever cared about. That's you know what's what I mean? crazy, man. I don't know how to. I don't even know how to answer that. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, I always seen where he at now. It's like really. <laughs> you yeah. get what I'm saying? Like, I've seen that. That's how. I, that's what I seen. Right, right. You right. get what I'm saying? Like, to me, he was always just so ill. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, were people putting out like, like what? What
were they thinking like, all right, like he put out his mixtape or he has mixtape is on PSP, but were they actually putting on the internet to try to share it around or was nah, it just, nah. so no one really knew him nah. except within the high school. Yeah, for sure. So that's city, how it started. Like it's just local buzz shit. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hell right. nah. Niggas ain't believe this shit was so far fetched to believe in. Like, who, <laughs> nigga, who want to believe in that? Like, nigga, I know. like what you trying to rap? Okay, yeah. Like, nigga, like we was when everybody was going to college, we felt so stupid. Like, you right. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Like, bro, man, what if it don't work? Right. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, those thoughts cross your mind, but it, like for us, it was like, nigga, y'all just got to catch up. <laughs> like, damn. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's how I look at this shit. Still, like, whatever we doing, I just feel niggas just don't know about it yet. Y'all right. Just, just got to catch on. Yeah. You get what I'm Fuck. saying? Like. <laughs> For real, so yeah, that's that's just my reality. Like, so I'm just like, bro, all that going to school shit, cool. That's that's what you're trying to do, right? But that ain't for me. I knew high school, all, in high school, that the school shit wasn't for me. Were you paying? You, were you paying attention to blogs at all at that time or no? Like, were music time. music blogs and shit like was that around that era at all? Like, um, actually, no, nah, that would have nah, came hell later. Nah, that, that was like came the bootleg later. sites. It was right. Bear Share, right? LimeWire, yeah, all that shit. You get what I'm saying? That's, that's how you were pulling all your music. For sure, so crazy. you're just hunting LimeWire for like crazy. random shit. Going crazy yeah, for sure. Yeah, how did I find out about Mike, Mike Jones, bro? I, I don't know how I found that. One of the homies, big brother, put us on to it. Really? And it changed my life for sure. Yeah, I fucking would. Li- I listen. I would go snowboard all the time. And that's all. I li- only listen to him. I listen. <laughs> Why to- you were snowboarding? I, well, I was snowboarding. Two, three, oh, yeah. one, three, whatever the number. Three, sure. three, oh, eight, zero, 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 four, whatever the fuck. That shit was hard. I, I remember. I, I, like there was a point in time where music was so weird how people would how you would distribute it like because yeah, if you're right. on LimeWire you have to know what to search for or there were, I, I don't remember what it was if it was just like this random explore feed almost mm-hmm. you know what I mean where there's just shit there because no, like for sure for sure it just had it just I think once you um know what you're looking for you just gonna dive deep into that <laughs> you know what I'm saying? like for related sure. shit for and sure. all that. damn sure. so okay so you at a certain point get brought in they bring you into TD right. and TD was just starting like to kind of bubble when they brought Kendrick in yeah um, or was that kind of the beginning of the era? I mean, it was like the beginning. I think yeah, I think J Rock was in his bag right. locally and shit. Right, like he was doing his thing. Yeah, like for sure, for sure. He was like he was had the hood fame for sure on lock. Were you looking at like were you fucking with his music at all at the time? Nah, no, not, not really. Just outside of um, the shit they played. You get what I'm saying? Like, right. But outside of that, nah, I was I was in the streets too. Like <laughs> you get what I mean? Yeah. So, I didn't really. That's what I was gonna say. Also, like, what what were you doing at that time in between high school, going into college, like er, that time yeah, it frame? Wasn't no, it wasn't no going into college. It was. No, I'm saying you yeah, said yeah. You're, all your homies were going to college. You guys felt stupid. So, like, what were you doing during that time? Because that's that, that was, was like a transition period. That for was you. a good transition period. I learned a lot during that time. Like, yeah, yeah. So during that time, man, I was really, really trying to survive, bro. <laughs> like for sure, for sure, like. Man, going to the studio, I was working a, a, a good job as a janitor. Yeah, I'm shout out to the Compton Unified. That's why y'all fucked up. Y'all had me as a janitor. Like, I went to these schools. Like, you know what I'm saying? What happened? I was a janitor, nigga. No, but what'd they fuck up on? Hiring you? Yeah, like, I was right. fucking 18 yeah. or something, like 21 or some shit. I think like, that's a respectable age for someone to be able to clean up some stuff. Nah. 18? Not, really. not and I was so irresponsible, bro. Like, you get what I'm well, saying? Yeah, I'm saying they shouldn't have hired you, but they, they, I mean, yeah, I feel you. other I feel 18 you. year olds may have had their shit together. Not you know? facts, facts. <laughs> I didn't appreciate it, though, either, though. But I was being a janitor in the street trying to figure shit out. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Just doing mad shit. So the janitor job was so perfect for me because it was like mad niggas that was janitors and shit. So, yeah. you know, it's like a, a six man crew of janitors. Right. You get so what I'm saying? It's math class all over again. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So right. I got to chill out and dip out. Like, I went to, school, went to um, work. Signed in and dipped to the studio. Right. You get what I'm saying? Because I knew it was like mad other niggas that yeah. really cared about this job. That's right. everything. Right. So I was at the studio, work outfit, doing the look. Yeah. <laughs> like, you get what I'm saying? Reaping the benefits. So, but when you're saying you went to the studio, this is this is at the time that you started getting brought into TD? No, no, no. This matter. Who's studio? It was Tops. This is the. Yeah, yeah was so that that's what I'm saying. You're already starting to fuck with their artists. Like, yeah, that, for sure. That, the, for sure. The, well, I was already embedded at that time. Is that the Carson studio? Yeah, Carson studio. Uh, damn, that spot's been there from the jump, huh? Yeah, that was the first there. one, right? Still I know, there. I've been there. Yeah. It's like a merch thing, too. Not no more. We big time now. Oh, we right. Got, yeah, they, big yeah. Time. yeah, they went to all warehouse edition <laughs> on that go. shit. Yeah, for but real. But all right, so you were going to that spot. I've been, I, I did a podcast in that studio. Uh, Matt Matt had one Matt Genius Oh for real? Yeah they had like a podcast Going for their, for a little bit Or whatever And that was my first time Going over to that house oh, yeah. So you were going to that house So you got You got introduced to them At a certain point Because Kendrick's just Recording there now Yeah So you just Flowing with him To sure. hang out For sure And then what would you do You just be around Just be around bro Trying to figure it out Like Like honestly bro It was me Dave Moose And like Soundwave And we just had to do Whatever we needed to do To get this shit going Like bro Fucking hanging up Pictures uh, driving, we was everything, bro. We was yeah. the fucking driver, the runner, like whatever needed to be done, bro. Yeah. Like we had to put our pride to the side, like really focus on the big picture of this shit. Like we had to do what we had to do. Like you get what I'm saying? Like yeah. 
it wasn't no ego with this shit, dog. Like, whatever needed to be done, nigga, niggas could drive to Houston if needed be. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it's like the real, real yeah, bro. marketing shit. For like, sure. really hitting sure. the streets with it. For sure. But what were you promoting? Like, just like, okay, cool, we have like actual CDs now. We can go distribute this yeah, shit or try tapes, to promote shows. Mixtapes, bro. I remember, um, <laughs> I remember we was passing out mixtapes and shit for um, Kendrick, what was it? The Kendrick Lamar OD or something like that. We was with like J. Cole or some shit. We passing out mixtapes, bro, and just a big ass fight broke loose. You get what I'm saying? But like we we, we still was trying to get the job done. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like at the end of it, bro, it was just mad mixtapes. Everywhere. Great promotion. Yeah. Great right. promotion. Like, up some mixtapes shit. all over the floor. Like <laughs> y'all gonna know that this y'all gonna pick up one of them flyers off that uh, yeah. mixtape covers. Damn. You know what I'm saying? It was like just just doing what we had to do, bro. Like for real, for real. And I feel like a lot of people don't have that now. Like just that um everybody feel like a win alone. Like, mm-hmm. all that kind of shit. Like, bro, really, no, I, I feel nobody wins alone. You get what I'm saying? Like, you need a team, bro. Yeah. Like, and, and everybody got to have that same vision, bro. Believe in this shit. Like, 100%, like, really believe in this shit. Like, for real, for real. At that time, though, was it really, like, did you see it becoming something that you were going to, like, do as a career? Or was it just, like, this is just, hap- like, I, it's emotion. Like, you know what I mean? For me, I when I got emotion. into this, it's like, a, it's like I'm in motion. Like, yeah, I just, yeah. there's not, I don't think future... I'm just doing what I'm doing because it's working right now. Nah, you know what sure, I mean? For sure. But I know what it, what it could be, though. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, the brotherhood, we just we just had that brotherhood. Like, bro, this is all or nothing. Like, So if it didn't right. crack, we'll figure it out after that. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, Damn. to be honest. Like, we believed in it so much that it, was, it wasn't no other option, though. I love, I love doing this shit when it's TD related because it's crazy how many people... Like in TD, like affected my shit. You know yeah, what I mean? Right. To like bring me in right. at the time with Q, but to go back farther than that with Musa, because I I just told him last or t- whenever you guys had the LA show, like that he's got to come on here because I got to tell that story. I want to oh, hear yeah, his yeah, shit yeah. coming from his point of view. Musa got he got a good story for sure. Yeah, like he's I, I say Musa's name more than anyone. Craig's house. Mm-hmm. That, those are like common keywords that Facts. are said on this podcast because it's crazy how often that shit's changed everything. But and even you like coming in through like for you sure. having my back and shit. For like sure. remember the night for when sure. we were uh, <laughs> we were with, uh, where the fuck was it? it was Budweiser thing and you're like and I was like yo I think Rocky's talked about me before to Q right. And you're like, oh, you want me to introduce you? I'm like, yeah, do it as you know smoothly. And then instead, you're just like, let's go now. And then you just walk over, like, yo, this is boy. Oh, hey, right. work, work, He's work. like, oh, you Mac Wolf's guy. All right, cool, no, you do with me. Facts, but like, you've facts. always had my back in this shit, so For it's sure. cool to bring this shit because it's crazy to hear the stories that led up to the point where I got to come in. You know facts, what I mean? So it's facts. you know what I mean. And to have me be in Iowa, right? Think about this shit. This is crazy. My dad, and this happened twice now. My with Q's tour mm-hmm. in the middle of Q's tour, my dad sent me a picture of like one of the the CDs I burned of his shit and wrote school with Q on it from like back he found it in one of my old cars that's crazy crazy and then he did the same shit with Jay that's it was so like crazy. Hove I don't remember Blueprint whatever it was that's crazy I know I'm like damn that's really wild but like being on that tour actually I just lost my whole train of thought damn Cra- like I think me going and having had t- like been a part of what you guys are doing but having rewinded a couple years ago me being in Iowa like listening to Q's music listening right. to Kendrick like I would literally only listen to those those songs over and over again everywhere I drove and I'm sitting here trying to figure out life how to be creative how to deal with this shit like and I'm listening to music that talks about cultures that I don't even I'm not even a part of that shit right. but I've like respected it so much and I'm like trying to learn stories or hear stories because to me it's the same thing Eminem you hear these stories this dude I'm we both are white but he grew up in a trailer court and all this shit and I didn't so there's a whole nother set of life that he went through you to get to where he is. You learn, you learn all kinds of shit. That's what I learned. Like, bro, it's fucked up. <laughs> and same with a billionaire. Like, you listen Facts. to, we, we want to hear billionaires because uh, these people lived in these lavish lifestyles and fly jets everywhere and that's a whole nother world. You know what I mean? So you really absorb this shit. It's really real shit. Like, and then to be real, in real. it is like fucking some wild full circle shit. You know what I mean? That's really Facts. crazy. Like, for real, for real. No, I get what you're saying 100%, bro. That's fucking crazy, bro. But then, dog, you can't, like, you also worked hard, bro. <laughs> like, you can't sleep yeah, on that part of it too. it's like, it's just it's just funny that, that's why it's funny to me it's funny yeah. to me that he ends up doing a song with Eminem you know no, what I mean sure. 100%, that's fucking wild 100%. shit like I trip off that for sure but is it is it a uh, did I ever see that happening I, I thought of I course. did like right. I think I did like for sure like no, I, I believed he was gonna be like like during that time like I felt K-Dot talent level was up there with like the Jay-Z's and yeah. fucking Lil Wayne but nobody even heard of this dude yet right, yeah, you get yeah. what I'm saying like right. So in reality, we really, really wasn't in competition with none of these other niggas but them up there. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's tight. That's that's what it was. So when I see it's happening, like the the shoulders we bumping with, right. you get know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's no surprise, like because we was, I felt we was already there, but niggas was just late. Damn, for real, that's for fucking real. crazy. So then, were you ever like you're in the studio? You mm-hmm. guys are doing all kinds of promo, bouncing around everywhere. Are you guys starting to do shows? 
Like, like were shows shit. pop? Like did people do shows or was it more so just about like getting J Rock was in his music? bag. Like J Rock, he was doing little shit, but it wasn't like it was like little Not radio like shit. Like nothing, shit. nothing crazy. Right. Like game, game used to look out, take niggas on the road and shit. I never been on one of them, but the homies was going. You get what I'm saying? Right. Like so, they was doing that kind of shit. Right. Like Tech Nine. Yeah, it yeah. It was a phase yeah. with that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So. They was doing shit, but not like they own shit for me. Right, right, right. Like shit was happening, but on a small scale. So when did you start finding kind of like your, like to become like, cause who's, who'd you start DJing for at first? Like when you started DJing, when did that happen? Who did I start DJing for? I started DJing with J-Rock. So, I started with J-Rock first. But like just like local, the random shows or was that Tech when you started kind of, oh, like it's Tech My first tour. tour, nigga, I had learned how to DJ. <laughs> Shout out TDE, man. We really get the job done. <laughs> like for real. Like so, uh, during that time, I was doing all the other shit, like in the back, like trying to be manager. Anything, anything. Yeah, like all that kind of bag. Yeah. I was up in my management bag trying to get homies Were verses. You? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, That's I used hard. to get homies, like, I used to get K Dot, like, verses, like, get them paid features and shit like that. You get what I mean? Like, <laughs> little shit, like, go book shows. Like, yeah. we was trying to get to this bread, bro. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I was in that bag at Why? first. Why? Did someone push you to that, or you just saw, like, an opening? No, like, this oh, not, yeah, it wasn't he needs that. It's just, just the homie. Like, right. I got a job. I'm getting a little chilly. Like, this right. K Dot didn't have a fucking Buffalo nickel outside yeah, of just yeah. talent. You get right. what I'm saying? Like, so. Like for me, I'm like, all right, what could I do to help position the homie? Like, get him some chili at least. Right. Like, so yeah. I try to go fish out verses, and you get what I'm saying? Right. Like little shit. Like you get what I'm saying? And um, That's that was funny. the bag I was in. You get what I'm saying? So then I sat back, like, all right, the management. I'm not a behind the scenes nigga. Like you get no. what I'm saying? Like I can't be <laughs> MacWap. You get, like for real, for yeah. real. Like I can't be MacWap and try to really try to conduct Stay business with the a nigga. You get what I'm saying? Like right. I can't do that. <laughs> it just wouldn't go mesh well with me trying to fucking hold hold a real business conversation and I'm up in there cursing, right. going crazy, yeah, like being yeah, myself because yeah. I'm, I'm going to be myself regardless. So right. I'm like, all right, what is the other play that I could still travel, see the world? And, and DJ was like, all right, I could DJ. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So I don't know how this shit aligned like that. Because so, did anyone have DJs at that time or was it just It was kinda, Ali, Ali. He was Ali doing was his DJing. thing, but it wasn't, we, wasn't, we wasn't really like, it was like shit called instant replay. Okay, what's it's that? It's just a, like it's like app? um, like a, it's a, it's some, it's some hardware. You just, it got the, you could just import the songs. And you just push one, two, three, four, and it just go from song to song. You get <laughs> okay. what I'm saying? So, yeah, there's like no fading. Or yeah, nothing. none of that shit. It right. was, it was trash. Right. So it was like we was on that. So then we got introduced to the whole Serato shit. So I learned how to do the Serato thing a week before tour. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. So me and J Rock was at the crib. We just going over the whole shit for like a week, and then nigga, you're just sitting here like, what the fuck? Nah, for real, for real. For real, bro. So like a week after that, bro, I was on the road <laughs> like for like four months. Were you doing the shit like how accused tour? You come out and do like a little Hell thing. Hell no. Or was it just like he's coming out? You start the song and that's and that's yeah how yeah it is. yeah. It was like I already see. Were you on a mic or anything? Nah, I was I was really spooked, bro. I wouldn't like. I know. I want to know wouldn't. if it because right now you do it so goddamn cat. Like we'll literally before. Yeah. It's always funny to me. Like my favorite shots that I have literally in the archives are just like you smoking weed, laying down on the fucking thing that the DJ table's on yeah, and it's dark and you're just smoking, just kind of killing time. But there's like 3,000 people on the other side where, of you. Where, where, where? But that doesn't bother you. And then all of a sudden you're like, all right, is it time to start? And you just stand up and you hit some <laughs> shit and you're like, okay. Yeah, no, word, no, word. Word. I learned that from Snoop though. You get what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like just seeing how he could snap into it. Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so, like character mode. Yeah, like for real. You got to play the part. But for it real. seems so natural. You know what I mean? So It I, is natural also though. But like, you were used to be nervous. In a sense, like I was nervous to fuck up. Like I didn't, I didn't feel like I knew enough yet. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah. it was a week before. Like that was the only. That's hilarious. You get what I'm saying? Like that's where I was nervous at. But as that tour kept going, like I felt I just learned everything I needed to know. So for the most part, you started to get like kind of comfortable with it. Yeah, for sure. Were for you sure. were you like trying to practice DJing in and out of the shows, or was it just kind of like I was I got practicing it. doing the show pretty much? Like that was it. Yeah, yeah. Like I swear to God, I'm learning how to blend and all this yeah. kind of stuff. Like doing the show, like <laughs> BPM matching, like all that kind of stuff. I didn't. I didn't know none of this shit. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know none of this. Like, I just was learning as I go. And I'm still learning as I go, for sure. Wow, how did J-Rock feel about it? Was was he like, he knew you were new to it, so was he forgiving if you fuck shit up? Or was it just kind of like you guys just roll with it? Like, just try to like make it yeah, look yeah, like Yeah, yeah, he knew what it was, man. The homies is professional <clears throat> with this shit, right. so. Like, you know what I'm saying? So during that time, it was it was pretty dope. Like, cause he was, this was like his big first tour. Not yeah. big first tour, but a big tour for him that, that I was, um, how can I say this? It was this was like a new experience for him also. You right. know what I'm saying? So with me, all this shit, it was just all a new experience. So we knew what it was. Like if I fuck up, he knew what it was. Like, yeah, yeah. like you knew to this. This right. is all this is all new stomach. You guys let me do this starting a week. Not for ago. sure. That's crazy. For sure. for sure. So then what? That kind of 
solidify like yeah that's what i'm that's what i'm gonna do oh, yeah, like yeah, i need it was to do this shit. After that. It right was after that. so what you stop you like stop doing all the shit with kendrick being his like little manager and and trying to oh, no, that, yeah that was over with like after um i knew that was out for me already like i started canceling that out like because we had a whole team like we had dave right punch so that that's was kind of their job yeah, yeah so they was they was they was they was in that that bag for mm-hmm. sure they, they took over that whole little shit so it gave me I could go do this now. <laughs> like, right. You know what I'm saying? Like I could go do this. Do you feel like, like you're sure. like the mediator though? You could be. The, you're like, you know, you're the ear to the street, right? So you're hearing yeah. all kinds of shit, and you're both bu- yeah. everything that's bubbling. Like 100%. introducing TD to certain songs or, or certain artists or vibes or whatever it may be. Like right. that's part of your culture, right? For sure, for sure. So you do that tour. Where does that go from that? Because now, like, you came in with Kendrick, but you are touring with J Rock. Like, what you mean? Where it go from that for me? Like, yeah. How do you start? Where do you go next? shit the sky was the limit for real <laughs> like it was anything i wanted to do like i felt like because during that time was like i already knew what was cracking for us i already knew what we had at the drawing board right you get what i'm saying yeah. so i already knew k that was about to hit the tour with drake right <laughs> you get what i'm saying like yeah. i knew what was coming right so then um that happened so i'm already so k about to go on tour soon as soon as um like at the ending of the tech nine shit okay so i already knew that was gonna happen so I'm like, all right, bro, I got to go really lock in on this DJ shit because <laughs> you, you really don't know now. <laughs> like, yeah, you might shit get called really, in. Shit really happening. You get what I'm saying? So Tech Nine fans may be more forgiving than Drake fans. Facts. So if you're going to go Facts. do that shit, Facts. damn. Like, it was just a lot of shit like that happening at that time. And um, Q, I don't know when Q started, started to bubble and shit. But um, so when Q started to crack off, that's when um, I really just dove in with him and shit. Right. Our, our chemistry was just, you yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah. You seen how that shit is. Right. So it was just... It was just perfect, and then the music he was making it just it just all meshed well for him. Right, you know it was what Ali saying? DJing at the t- like he was yeah he, he come in tour. as yeah, a DJ yeah, yeah yeah no Ali just came in like bro just same thing engineer same yeah. shit like whatever needed to be done but his old, his primary focus was engineering right you get what he I'm saying really he just knew like, everything though yeah he knew how to do like Ali everybody I feel like everybody <laughs> like that started off with this shit with TDE bro know how to do all the shit <laughs> like honestly, like naturally naturally just. Right. If uh, just anything, I think Ali could do fucking anything. Fucking yeah. Dave, he know how to DJ Dave. DJ Dave, that's his. You get what I'm saying? Really? DJ Dave, bro. Like he stored under DJ Dave. You get what I'm saying? Damn. Like Dave was a DJ hosting mixtapes for us. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like that's crazy. whatever needed to be done, bro. Yeah, we that. everyone did it. <laughs> yeah, right. like like for sure. Fuck. So everybody real real titles didn't really start coming into play till later. Mm. Like to be honest, right? Like, Cause then you realize, like you know, as companies grow, you realize that you have to have those titles for people mm-hmm. to be represented in Facts. certain areas and Facts. like not cross over and shit Facts. like that. Did you do? Did you do the Drake tour? No, I was uh, just ending um, Tech Nine. Oh, that was right, already gone. Right, so they left for yeah, that. Yeah, that was shit. already gone. That's crazy. So then when that, when he starts hitting Drake's tour, what like how's that change in your mindset? Like, damn, like he's really on this tour right now. Like that's that's yeah, it was, massive it was as like fuck. That. It was like that for sure. Right, but then it was also like, yeah, about time, man. He's really right. starting to see this shit. Yeah. Like, you get what I'm saying? But once all that shit started, I knew it was over with. Damn. Like, I already knew it was over with, for sure. So then you kind of start segueing, you start working with Q, mm-hmm. and was it kind of like you, you just started DJing with him? Was he, when? I mean, he started playing shows, dropped his tape, his shit, but he was like traveling around with Kendrick a lot too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was doing a lot man, of Kendrick really shit. brought a lot of people into Hell that yeah, shit. Yeah, huh? man. That nigga motherfucker kicked the door down for a yeah, lot of did. shit. That's he crazy. He kicked the doors down, bro. We still trying to kick doors down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, he helped, uh, he helped everybody. Yeah, every, I feel everybody helped everybody. <laughs> like, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, for sure. Like, K. Dot, Def, Def got us here, though, off, off being so dope. <laughs> like, so, what, what right. was it in Q that you saw that you that you liked? Uh, I saw me and Q. Just like he was a funny nigga. Like, he was in the streets. Like, the combo of his. Yeah, it, just it, like, it makes sense. For sure. Right. Like, like just, he was just an ill dude. He was just ill, funny right. as fuck. That's real. Like, that's how a lot of the homies is, bro. You, you know the homies. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? So. Yeah, bro. Like when it was just time to go, I was like, "All right, bet it's, it's lit." <laughs> like, I'm going to funny him. So you start touring with him, yeah. And I mean, fuck. Well, how many tours have you guys done? You think? Uh, like nine of them bitches, ten of them bitches. I don't a lot. <laughs> yeah, a lot. That man. shit's crazy. For real, uh, passport stamped up. Passport is stamped up. <laughs> yeah, it is stamped up. <laughs> is it? Is it like? What was the learning process for you when you started touring with him? Because I, I imagine like. You, you start developing yourself as a DJ. You start developing yourself as a talent because, you know, you become a talent yourself. At the time, it's like, before you're just like, okay, I have to do this shit, A, B, C. I'm going to figure it out. And then all of a sudden, you start realizing that people are noticing you, right? Right. You, when do you feel like you saw that switch start to happen? Because um, like you become people- the source, bro. Like, you literally are, all right, so... It, I could hit you up if I'm XXL right now and I want to do some running story. I could yeah. literally skip the line and hit you up because you're this person's DJ and I could talk to you and you'd probably be like, oh yeah, cool. 
I'll talk to you and then people can learn though. some shit. So I you're not, though. but that's what I'm saying. But people start to realize that that's this person's person. You know what mm. I mean? Like this is, this is part of their team and like sure. the teamwork p- fans gravitate towards people like you, Facts. people like me, because we are a connection to their favorite person. Facts. You know what I mean? And then by default, you become their favorite person as well, Facts. which is wild. Like it's crazy. Any TD event I go to, it's crazy how the fans still like me from sure. that shit. For you know sure. what I mean? For sure. You already uh, you embedded in the system now. Man. Yeah, but like you, you know what I mean? Like, it. when did you feel that shit start to happen for you? Because for me, it was like I was on tour and I was just a I was a cameraman. Even to the fucking bus, I was a cameraman. Right. You know what I mean? Like they don't know me, and then I had to like really show them like what I was gonna do with my my ideas. And then slowly I'd be like, we. I remember being, New York was the first time I remember it happening where I walked through the pit before the show just to check it out. And some guy's like, you're the dude, you're the real, the fucking, he <laughs> yeah, didn't know, yeah, but he yeah. knew. He knew that. I was like, oh shit. And then, and then it started to happen. Like, you know what I mean? And that shit was tight to me. Cause I'm like, wow, that's, I'm gonna build a platform. You know what I right, mean? Right, for sure. For so, sure. and that shit had to happen early, but you can't, you're transitioning from now. It's just Instagram where it's like easy to find someone and follow their right. life. Mm-hmm. But at the time it wasn't ever really like that. You know what I mean? We have. <clears throat> I start like for me it really just been that because I, I was really like originally TDE nigga so they seen me always seen me around and shit mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying so I noticed that man I've been on the road so much man it's just always motherfuckers always just recognize me and shit you get right. what I'm saying like during that time everything was just all on social media getting posted around so I think just people already just recognize me and shit so right. you get what I'm saying so I couldn't honestly um, tell you exactly when, when that shit started happening you get what I mean it just I felt it was just already Naturally. that. Yeah, just already that. Just because I was originally part of this. So I felt everybody that rep is like that that fucked with TDE, yeah. that was familiar with TDE. Like the way you feel about Kendrick, like where you always knew that it would become this, right? right. Like the Eminem shit. Right. Did you feel like that for you? Um. So for me, like it, I, I always felt I was just the illest dude, yeah. period. <laughs> like right. to, in the camp, right? But I had to put me to the to the back because I had TDE was the goal. Uh-huh. You get what I'm saying? So the first, the first, the first focus was let's get TDE cracking. Right. Just get this brand. You get what I'm saying? To become something. To become something. Then after that, nigga, I'm, you could just use this right. to help you get to where you're trying to go. So yeah. right now, I'm just now starting to push myself out there. You get what right. I'm saying? Like I was really. That's crazy. Like bro. if you really think of this shit, like I never really put nothing out. Like just MacWap. You get what I'm saying? Right. Nothing. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I was just in the back, just just getting information, learning. Yeah. And like right now, bro, I feel it's like really like the perfect, perfect time. Yeah. You get what absolutely. I'm saying? Like TDE is just so we so big with this TDE shit now. Like I feel whatever I do now should be easy. If you, you really think about like the opportunity that that leads to you, right? Like right. to have the distro of TDE or the support of that shit. Like right. it's really crazy to think of at the time it was nothing. You know what I mean? Like it started as an idea or you guys just doing a million different jobs and trying to play it like you're a fucking manager or you're right. a poster person that hangs up posters or some shit like to now having, like you see the shows, like you go everywhere in the world and they know the artists that you guys are, right? right? Right, Like the magnitude of that and having the ability of that to like use to catapult your content or your ideas is like so massive. For real. Was it, I guess like when you were doing like say Q shit right so Q shit starts to get more and more popular or whatever and you start going on and like all the tours start to get bigger and bigger Mm -hmm. and bigger right he grows as an artist are the opportunities for you growing too like did you start finding people like wanting you specific like to come DJ a party or whatever the fuck you know what I mean but like for me man I it was I was in this real crazy space and shit right because I really got like I felt I got so comfortable with this shit you get what I'm saying like yo I'm just straight like I was like in reality bro I'm just cool off TDE, like just TDE bread. Like I don't yeah. even gotta do shit else. Right. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Like, so I got real complacent for real, for real. Mm. Like, cause nigga, we at where we at now. You get what I don't gotta yeah. worry about shit else. Like that right. was my reality. Right. Like I'm cozy. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm yeah. saying? So all the watchers out there, listen, bro, never get cozy. That's a problem. That's it's a it's a big problem. Like, you get what I'm saying? I I, I grew the luxury nigga to be able to smoke weed. You get what I'm saying? Do whatever. Anywhere. The, just do what I want. Like, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So Everything else, like, it's over. Like, I already put the work in with TDE now. Right. There's the money coming in. I already, you get what I'm saying? Like, that was my reality. Like, you get what I'm saying? So, like, a nigga literally just barely got out that whole bag. Like, yeah. you get what I'm saying? Like, and that's, it's a crazy, that's a crazy little bag to be in, bro. Cause you could really, luckily, nigga, like, luckily, TDE is like, we so, we so strong and our position is like really embedded that. Right. What if, like, what if this shit would have just fell off? You get what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. I was in that comfort bag, like, I wouldn't have no you backup plan. Saying? No backup plan. Like for real though. Like because that's what's crazy is like you have people have to really understand that this shit is different. Like for real, Soundwave may make some shit for the the records, and he'll have 
royalties, right? Facts. Facts. These artists will have royalties. Facts. DJs is not necessarily the same way. For so real, for you real. don't cash in on a record going platinum or gold or Facts. whatever. That's dope. But you Facts. you still clock your freelance as fuck. Facts. Like no matter Facts. what. So for was real. it? With, did that shit happen on Blank Face? Is that when you kind of like? Because you felt like remember that shit like you were like sitting there and then all of a sudden you came back from tour you went to Paris or some shit and came back <laughs> yeah yeah you yeah, like yeah. checked out for like a week and then yeah, came I got back. sent home I got sent home yeah. shit. was yeah, that cute. do you feel like that switch because since then bro I feel like you just been running like sprinting yeah yeah you no know nah, I mean? nah, like so with that shit right so yeah that was a big moment for me that was a real 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 big moment like you get what I'm saying yeah. like a nigga did some I was fucking up I got sent home right and so luckily like I'm I'm still TDE and shit so luckily for my situation. Like I still had, uh, I got other artists in the camp. You right. know what I'm saying? So, Q sent my dumb ass home, right? So I flew. Cause to why? Paris. Cause it was just cause it, like the show would get like some song would not go to no, the next no, one. Or I just, would, um, he was hot about that. So it was a, it was a time in a show, right? Where Q wanted me to, um, he wanted me to play the song like ten seconds later. Like he wanted me to pause and just play the song next at like ten seconds. Oh right. So then it was like some. It was like I, I start play. I was playing this shit like like five seconds. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like I'm like yo, it's too awkward. Yeah. But I, that's when I learned like yo, this like even though I'm the captain, like when you DJ, you really the captain. Like you control the whole shit. Yeah. And you Q Q will not uh, wait till the shit's done to tell you about it. Oh no he no no hell no. He, <laughs> that's how you gotta do it. Go you gotta do it. You gotta, you gotta let the nigga know where you yeah, fucked up. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Like so that that was a big learning experience. Like yo. This is this nigga's show. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Right. This is how he still want this shit. Right. You get what I'm saying? Even though it feel awkward to me, this is what he wants. Right. You get right, what I'm right. saying? So, yeah, I played a song early and shit. So, I did that shit like a couple shows and he was hot. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Send my dumb ass home. Then I went to fucking Paris with Soul. Like, literally, when I, when I, when I touched down, I had a flight in like 12 hours. Yeah, because that's why I was like, oh, damn, he's going back to LA. And then and there was no like backup plan. like Slim was there de- oh, opening yeah, yeah, up yeah, yeah, and he, he had to go do it. I wish you could have seen this shit, bro. I seen funny. one show. I seen one show. The first show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You the were there for the Kansas. first show? Kansas or some shit. That was the show. Yeah. I didn't DJ. I was flying out. Oh, I can't wait for him to tell us story. Yeah, shout out show. Slim, man. Bro, he about shit himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not Everything easy. Everything went wrong. It's no, not easy up no. there. Like that's a lot of people think it's easy up there, but yeah. it ain't, bro. No, it ain't. It really ain't easy up there. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, I went, I went, um, I went to Paris and shit. For and what? I, was he touring or nah, just, we were just, just out there, to just, be just, there? Yeah, we was out there. They knew I was all fucked up. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. This cute shit. So they took me out there, get my mind right. I flew my girl out there. We were just out there just getting our mind right type shit, right? Yeah. And I'm just sitting back like, damn, like, <clears throat> what if this, like, what if this wasn't this, though? You get what I'm saying? Like, what if I really wasn't in TDE? Right. All this kind of shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it could be Christmas. Like me. Be, like, if like, if I, like literally, if for I real. got turned around, like, yeah, it's over with. Go. It's over. It's over. Like, you get what I'm saying? So... Like that was a big learning yeah. experience. Like, bro, I gotta stop bullshitting. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like, in reality, I know like niggas ain't fuck with me on them boards. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, niggas ain't fuck with me on them on that stage. You yeah. get what I'm saying? For sure. Right. You get what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, I gotta go show niggas now. <laughs> like, I, yeah. I gotta show niggas the difference. You came like, back. <laughs> he came yeah, back, man. Because I that was my first time touring with you guys. Yeah, so yeah. like, I just only got the comfortable MacWap until you left and then you came back and it's turned like literally because I my favorite shit was always going out with you and word, shooting your shit word, like because MacWap we going crazy his hair's going yeah, nuts it sure, looks really dope sure, when you're shooting slow sure. motion good and stand, then uh, and he's just funny like he'll hop down in the gate and we'll make a plan I give him the GoPro mm-hmm. he go hop in the crowd hell yeah and man and then but when you came back that's when you really did that shit like you were like fucking going crazy facts so facts. It, when you were in Paris what you what would you do that you feel like turned it around in your mind. Um, was it just was it instantly when they literally were like yo you gotta go for a minute and then you go and you're like well fuck I gotta I gotta figure out how to get like how did you get back on the road with who with, come with us you what came back to, um, oh I knew it wasn't over so it was just like leave yeah, for a minute yeah, no nah, he just had to teach me a lesson for real for real like it could be over <laughs> yeah you get what I'm saying like <laughs> yeah. yeah like that I knew I was coming back like who else gonna be tight up there <laughs> like, you right, know what I'm saying like right. Niggas ain't it's, it's like So it's dope Like me and Q chemistry Is, is yeah. over Like no, you ain't right. gonna, he ain't gonna find right. that no more Right right You get what I'm saying yeah. So I knew it was gonna Like so I just had to You know what I'm saying Really just Give him what he needed to though Like you get what I'm saying Give him that energy That whole shit so. Did you come back With the strategy Or was it just like I gotta go back to What I what it was Before I you know Became yeah, too comfortable yeah, with this yeah, shit Yeah yeah I had to go back To what it was like, Yeah Really just like Man it's so much With that band bro Like to be honest man I, I really I really feel I be filtering My personality and shit you get what I'm saying, like right so, now. No, not not, not uh, right now. Like I'm just saying, like um, in certain settings. Right. You get what I'm saying. Okay. So, on the stage, I felt like the, during the time you you was uh, before I got sent home and shit, mm-hmm. I felt I could say I wasn't uh, really going hard as I was because I felt I didn't want to overshadow the performer. 
You get what I'm saying? Like, I feel you. you get what I'm saying? Like, right. I feel that's 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 tea if a nigga try to go if you go too crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, then I realized, like, yo, Q like that. Like, he, he fuck with all yeah. this shit. You get what I'm saying? Right. Like, so I really like when I was in Paris, bro. I had so much time to think. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, and then the homie moves so all these niggas just telling me like, yo, bro, you like. To be honest, bro, you're not really being MacWap. You're not being you. You get what I'm saying? So just all that kind of shit, they on me. Everybody just giving me, telling me, like, giving me that constructive criticism that yeah. you need, like, that reality check. You need them reality checks, bro. Yeah, I mean, you, if you, put, you, you automatically put a break on your shit. Like, oh, if, you, sure. if you're putting a break on yourself because you don't, which is respectable. Facts, Because you don't want to do that. You're not facts. trying. But, like, that's the energy that people, like, come to a concert to see that shit. For sure. You know what I mean? For sure. You guys For jumping sure. off the stage and doing wild shit or you being more vocal than normal or whatever. Like, cause I remember, I remember like walk, you know, I'm walk, I'm all over the venue and then I'd hear some shit go. I, I remember him asking you to whatever that was, if it was the five, se- 10 second thing or if, <laughs> if he'd be talking, you accidentally start some shit. <laughs> and he'd be like, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'd be like, ah, oh, damn. And I remember when it got close to like when, Cause he'd be like Literally like You guys would have Conversations about it He'd be like Get your shit together Right And then the last one I remember happening to be like Fuck Like this is crazy Not I'm like sure. Why is this happening for Cause sure. to me I'm like man Like you We just talked about it With her Like coming on that shit I had nothing I had everything to lose Right right You know what I mean It's easy to get to a place Where you feel like You can't You just That's your space right But to me I'm like I, I got everything to lose I, I can't sacrifice this shit like everyone's having fun i see alcohol and all this shit whatever it is mm-hmm. and and people you know meeting all this shit i'm like i don't got time like i just need to show showcase what i'm able to do right right and i remember it being i'm like why why is because i just felt like you were so chilling because it'd be after that then we'd be out turning up i'm like that's crazy but it's amazing to sit, think about how long you've been doing it yeah for that to become easy to become chill like chilling yeah, you know right, what i mean where right. But then to see the gear get switched back, I'm glad because I'm like, man, he's really a superstar. I don't think he knows it. Yeah, you know I didn't. Ain't I, my place to say that shit because I don't. I'm new as fuck. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. But like that's what I was thinking at the time. So when you left, I'm like, damn, really? That's crazy as fuck. You like, thought it was Chris was I just canceled. You thought it was just yeah. like, nah, 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 hell nah. I really did because I'm like, fuck. Luckily. I mean, I, he fucked up like five times. Yeah, for sure. I don't know what the rules are. For sure. I remember one time. I remember one time we were in Texas, bro. I was so pissed that this happened to me. I'm with, I'm in the bus editing nonstop. I've been editing f- every day. You guys see it. I'm in the right. bus editing. Right. Someone wants to see some fucking footage of them and interrupts my flow and all this shit. And then everyone's texting me, let me see your edits. What's up? I'm like, yo, trust me. It's worth, just take your time because I'm crafting some dope shit. Like, right, let me. Right. And then uh, and I went out. There was like an hour. I rode the scooters to, out just to like breathe. And I went out and something happened during that time. I remember some funny shit happened. And everyone's like, where's the camera? Like, where's the camera? At? Like, this shit should have been filmed. And I come back and we were going to a meet and greet. And Q like got on my ass. He's like, yo, like this shit ain't, ain't no game, blah, 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 I brought you out, all those things. Like he, you know, he muscled on me. Yeah, for sure. And I'm listening to him and I'm like, bro, I literally went to get food. Like I had, I like said, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I went to go get food. Like I just got, I'm like, no one knows what I'm doing behind the scenes. Right. Like no one knew that I was out here doing this shit. And so I let, let him say his shit to me and feel <laughs> like boss yeah, up on me sure, real quick. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. And then like later that night I went up to him, I'm like, I just need you to know like there's shit I do that you don't see, you know what I mean? That I feel like I don't want it to go uncounted for, you yeah, know what I mean? Sure. Cause sure. I literally will make sure you get the best shit possible. Like that was so adamant to me. And I don't know why it's like, sometimes you need to have people, like it put more pressure on me. Oh, for sure. And for to sure. have him put the pressure on me, it was me like, I'm not gonna, I don't know, like anyone could go. So when you get lecture or some shit and you gotta go, I'm like, fuck. But I saw a star in you and shit. And I'm like, there's got to be something that comes back. So when you came back, that shit was incredible to watch. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like the word, underdog word. story. You know what I mean? No, for sure, for sure. For it didn't sure. have to be, but it had. To, you had to be. No, for sure. Like, and I, I love that moment. That was a that was a great moment, man. Like, like for sure. QWAP, you bitch ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Stay on me when I fuck up, bro. You know he I'm ain't saying? watching like, this shit. He'll never watch any of my shit. No, he gonna watch this shit. The homies be watching this shit for sure, for sure. Tight. So, Fucking so bitch. yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, appreciate everything, bro. For real, for real. No, Play for, fuck up too. That's crazy that. I mean, but it's dope because I feel like since then the spark's been lit, right? right and the flame's right. getting bigger. Right. And the fact that you took that shit and now you're, you, I don't know if, if that was necessarily the time where you felt like it was okay for you to start pushing yourself into this next chapter. Mm-hmm. No, you that was I mean? when I was trying to figure it out, like for sure. Yeah. And I was like, yo, all right, drawing board time. Yeah, because it was definitely at, when we got home from tour, you buying the, your no, vlog sure. shit you got for your sure. vlog cam- yeah <laughs> we got it together I came to the LA show and he's got his red jacket on and then he pulls out his vlog cam mm-hmm. out of the shit we gotta keep it and on I you. remember at Coachella keeping on you uh, when I was there with uh, Beyonce you were there shout out 
<laughs> Shout out. And I'm there, and I remember being back back in the you know in the tents and shit mm -hmm. and you were, you like pulled up with you <laughs> he, he kept texting me i'm like bro you keep going with this youtube shit like keep doing that you're like yo i really am i know all these youtubers now and, then, <laughs> where, where? and you showed up with like the whitest richest white kid youtuber dude and and i saw him come around the corner because I, I don't remember which one it was one of them you were fucking with and then you pulled up around him and you're like yeah this is the guys well i'm like yo this is funny as hell that you just <laughs> you just somehow snaked your way into the actual bro, youtube world bro you gotta know like what one you of want. those kids you that are know what the, you the kids that get like get on fucking tiktok and do like a guitar thing and like all the girls go crazy go viral go real viral real fast you found your way and oh yeah he's like i'm gonna do youtube and you really found the right pe the top people you know, to do youtube it's with. it's crazy though i swear to god i didn't even go looking for these dudes this shit just the stars align they yeah. go align bro you get what i'm saying like crying. i swear to god I like got introduced to these dudes and, and it was that like I learned a lot just for real for real just seeing like how powerful content is like, yeah. you get what I'm saying like right. like how like posting on Instagram and all this kind of shit you get what I'm saying yeah. I learned that from these dudes right for that's real. fucking funny they so what's like when, as shit kind of grew what were some of like the memorable moments that you had like I don't know if you had meant like people you've been looking up to that you meet or fucking you know what I mean because you guys TD literally be connected with everybody. <laughs> yeah, right. So was there shit for you that you were like that step? You took a step back and you look at you like, damn, that's like it just that just happened or this shit or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, everything, nigga. We just performed at the farm. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that was a moment. Every everything is really a, a moment, bro. Because we really from the ghetto. You get what I'm saying? So like right. that's what I'm saying. Like what we were saying earlier. Like I I always appreciate all the shit. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So really everything is a moment. Like when I be meeting people. Not all these dudes be ill. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a lot of these artists be weirdos for sure. They don't be who they they supposed to be. But when I meet people that's genuinely who I thought they was and all that kind of shit, I'd be like, "Yo, yeah, that's, right. that's that moment." Right. <laughs> you get what I mean? Like, yeah. so it's only it's a few people that's like that that I really like. I right, yeah, that's dope. Like for sure. Like for sure. What up, creators? I want to remind you about our community at jointhehomies.com. The homies are the squad of legends who support what we do here at Black Window Cream so we can continue to build this platform into the best educational space for content creators on earth. And in return for that support, we give you a bunch of sick perks all month long, like access to our live stream tutorials and hangouts, bonus podcast episodes, and so much more. Check us out at jointhehomies.com. Let's go! I mean, saying that shit, like being from the ghetto and then being able to literally be like in a space where you are like, we're eating fucking, what's it called in Australia at Nobu and shit. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? And yeah, word, you word. got fans running up. Remember that shit? Yeah, we yeah, had yeah, fans sure. running up on sure. us. Like, that's really crazy. Yeah, word. And for the forum, like the coolest shit, like right before the show started, you're up on stage or whatever. And Q's, I was with Q and Smack and Q's like, you know, he's stretching and doing this shit or whatever and he's just starting to like scream and get hyped up and mm -hmm. shit. And he like looked at me, he's like, man, this shit is really actually crazy. Because before, <laughs> yeah, before he, you know, he'd be trying to act cool and shit like, yes, I'm like, dude, I think it's gonna sell. He's like, no, that for sure it'll sell out. I'm like, right, but that's crazy. Like that's actually, like the last time we played in LA, but for your shit, there was like 3,000 people there, whatever right. it was. And he's, and then right before he's like, yeah. And then he grabbed Smack and they had like a moment, bro. And I could hear, I would filmed it, but it was so loud. Mm. And I could hear him like, bro, county jail, this shit, like literally from the streets, like all this shit. And then, uh, and they're just sitting there like, I could see Smack react to him. Like, damn, yeah, for real. Like, oh, this I is wish really I crazy. I seen that moment right there. That's bro, it, I got sure. it. And, but, but like, I had to talk to Smack afterwards because I'm like, yo, what, like, what did, uh, what the fuck did he say to you? And just to see that shit, like, to know what it's like to have, to be in those positions, like, that shit's so powerful, you know what I mean? Like for you to go up and be like, okay, it's not, you, because the difference about that, that's 7,500 people, right? Yeah. But that's, uh, that was Inglewood, so what, that's, how far is that from, like, where are you from? Uh, like 15, 15 20 minutes. 20 minute yeah. drive, right? Where, where? To grow up 15 or 20 minutes to be in the streets, like when TF told me like, yeah, we'd be here, if you're over here in this street, like this part of the neighborhood, people getting shot killed every single day and it's just ridiculous. But then, a mile down the road is USC. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, People sure. happy as as can be going to college and gonna go do some wild shit. Real life and then right around the block is fucking people getting slayed. You know what I mean? That's fucking insane shit. You can see it all going down fig, man. So to be 15 <laughs> minutes from the forum, right. 7,500 people, right? Mm -hmm. You got, but I've been with you. We've been in front of 100,000 people or whatever at these festivals where we Facts. be out there and you be in front of way too many people, like insane amount of people, but like was 7500 was it different though because it was that it was literally around you could Man, throw a for rock for real for real like the forum if you're from la bro 
that's legendary. Like more legendary than the fucking Staples Center. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Like that was that's like that's the form, bro. It's like <laughs> there ain't too much you can say. Right. Like that's the form, bro. So hell yeah, that's just way it hit different. Like it hit different. I performed there before, but like Q sold that bitch. You get what I mean? He yeah. did that. He did that. Like you get yeah. what I'm saying? So I seen his whole journey. You get what I'm saying? So like seeing this nigga perform at the forum, dog, that was like, yo, that's crazy. <laughs> like that's really, really crazy. Fuck. Like for sure. Like that's crazy. Like that's one of the craziest moments for sure. Like for sure, for sure. What do you feel like is your move moving forward? <sighs> Big Mac Wild, man. It's so much, honestly, dog. So moving forward, bruh, we gon' we gonna keep going crazy on Mac Wild TV. You get what I'm saying? Cause that's right there, that's opening a lot of doors. Yeah. We got that. Um, I'm about to start putting out music. I'm producing and shit. Doing a, um, oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm in my bag, man. It's happening. All right. It's happening. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I got the merch shit cracking. Thewopulation.com. Go do y'all look. Mm, grab a pair. Yes, Get sir. some shirts. Yes, sir. What do we got? Shorts? You got socks yet? No, nah, man. I ain't even, they, they trying to make socks for me, but I don't want to go crazy yet. You get what I'm saying? It got to make sense. So, um, yeah, I'm doing that, dog. I got, I'm doing the music shit. I'm about to start doing a lot of music, bro. 2020 man everything coming into vision hell yeah you get what i'm saying so we about to go crazy for real for real like it's really man i really don't i don't see the ceiling i don't know right. <laughs> you know what i'm saying like yeah i really don't know bro like i'm focusing on just building macwa brand like you know what i'm saying yeah. so whatever come with that like i'm an entertainer bro i know like you get what i'm saying like so yeah man i'm about to go crazy for real do you feel like with your position like ha being a dj and being so con you're so connected to right. you know what i mean like the there's like I think I posted when I told people that you were coming on the shit. It's like this old ass picture, you, Q, and Mac. Mm -hmm. you, you've been with, you know, early Cole, like all these people. You got projects that people don't know about. You know what I mean? Like you're so goddamn deep in the shit. Like being that connected, like, is there more opportunity having that? Yeah. I think I did it the. Um, How do you leverage that? Man, like, leverage, like, I don't know. Like, so for me, I felt I built so many relationships you get what i'm saying like i got ungodly amounts like, for sure like it's lit like you're me. really friends friend <laughs> friends with yeah, yeah. a lot of people yeah and i think that was like for me moving forward that's gonna be where i benefit from right like you get what i'm saying like all these niggas is that i'm cool with is just they genuinely fuck with me and i genuinely fuck with them so yeah everything moving forward they want to support me you get what i'm right. saying like so that's why i'm like bro it's lit <laughs> you get what i'm saying like yeah. it's lit and all that shit happened organic you get what I'm saying? So I think it's a perfect, perfect time. How'd you feel like when SZA got brought on and this is the first female to get kind of thrown into the mix? How did that shift shit for you guys? Um, when, when SZA first came, man, I knew it was lit. Like, like first, it, like when, I, when they first came around, I didn't really, I didn't hear nothing first. I just heard about, we signed some artists. Like, yeah. like SZA, Zay. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I wasn't really feeling it just because I felt disrespected. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like how you niggas like... You're high about it. No, like for real, for real. Right. Like for real. Like so... I didn't really appreciate it just because I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't know these niggas. I didn't hear these niggas. Like, right. We, this TDE shit is real precious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I'm like, yo, the nerves of these niggas. <clears throat> right. You know what I'm saying? You. Like, like the nerves for sure. And that was my, that was how I felt. So then I called <laughs> Dave. Like, yo, like, what's up? <laughs> yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So he like, yo, Mac, don't even trip. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was that. And then um, I got to go back to Zay first before. Yeah, go like, to you Zay. Know what I'm saying? So yeah. When I heard Zay was at the studio, I wouldn't took this nigga like let me see what if this dude weird like you get what i'm saying like for real was that when he bring kembe around sometimes yeah kembe was coming around but yeah. i didn't meet him till like later okay word so i grabbed uh zay from the studio him and uh chris Kalor, brought them to the crib and i'm like yo let me figure these niggas out you get what i'm saying because <laughs> like yo <laughs> like for real like <laughs> ask this ask zay wop like for real like yeah. i thought it was like yo if we can't have no weird niggas like right, you get what i'm right. saying so i put them to the crib like i'm just chopping it up with him he playing music the whole shit i heard his like hear his story yeah you get what i'm saying i'm like all right for sure. Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it makes sense for it. Because at that point, nothing, there was, like, no outsiders, right? No, like, no, it was, no. like, very, very tight. Yeah, it was just, the, just like, the, the, the starting camp. Yeah. Like, you get what I'm saying? The starting whole crew. So then, yeah, Zay was hard. And I was like, all right, for sure. Mm -hmm. Like, I ain't, I ain't mad at that. I would have yeah. did that, too. Right. Get him while you could. He was dope like that. So then, the same with SZA. So um, I started low-key DJing and shit. Like, that's when I knew it was real, when I started DJing for SZA. You oh, you were DJing like, for yeah. her shit? I DJ for everybody. Like, right, you know I know. That's like, what I'm saying. Like, you, I, I, you make it sound like you just like, yeah, I did a little bit of this for J-Rock and then I go on Q and that's it. But you really be doing all kinds of random shit. Like, yeah, where, pull up on a function for something, you know, whatever it is, and facts, you DJ that shit too. Facts. So you're DJing for SZA, which is that different though? Like, 
from, yeah, yeah, from doing was, like the rap shit. Her shit's so melodic. Yeah, yeah it's and, like, melodic. Amazing, you know it's a beautiful whole little setting. I'm yeah. like, I'm used to fucking jumping in the crowd throwing right. bows and shit. Right. I'm like, what should I do? Like, what yeah. I, it's like, you get what I mean? Like, for real, I'm just back there vibing. It's catching the vibe and shit. But that's when I really got to witness her live performance. Like, yeah. that voice was like beautiful. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So I'm like, oh, for sure. Right. <laughs> like, it it's lit. Sense. It's all the way lit. Right. Like, it's all the way lit. And that was that. Like, it was, so from that point, I just um, trusted the homies judgment when it comes to artists. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, it was just lit after that, like, for sure. There's so many, like, pinnacle moments that, you know what I mean? Like, there's so many, like, I just had Parsons on here, mm -hmm. which is crazy because, you know I mean? I've been wanting to get him on for a minute. But, like, hearing his stories of, like, getting found by, same with Kendrick, Kendrick bringing him in through, actually, no, that was through Rhett. Rhett found him. And, uh, his story about like almost getting the TDE opportunity, right? right? Was like he like flew on his own dime, did all this shit. Like think, this is what's cool is that people like me, Parsons, whoever, the effect you guys make on all of us from the outside looking in, or from mm -hmm. the outside, yeah, from the outside looking in. Like to, to Parsons, he had no money, right? He's living in, uh, and you can hear this, his version of this on the podcast. Fucking like and subscribe, bitch. Uh, sorry, sorry. So he's on. New York, he's in New York. Something happened. Kendrick was there. He was there. He almost had a chance. Whatever. Rhett's like, yo, you're, yeah, you should, you know, like, cool, come through. Whatever, whatever it was. It was just like an open, open opportunity to maybe fuck with him. He yeah. flew on his own dime to to L.A. for a show that Kendrick had, and that was the rest of his money basically. Flew there, got to the show, missed the show because it was like <laughs> sold out and he couldn't get in. And saw Kendrick walk by, and they all like said what's up because they just saw him in New York, which I don't think anyone really. It realizes like, yo, this yeah. dude just flew across on his own dime, and then he left, and then that was it. And then the, the wait, wait, he's seeing Kate out on the exit. He saw, Ke yeah, they all came out and left after Kendrick oh, already performed. Shit. So he missed the show, flew all the way across. This is oh, it. Stayed there, shit. like brought his shit with him. He he literally lost his apartment in New York. Comes to L.A., then stays on his homie's couch for like a month. The tour is coming up. He's like, this might be my chance. And then they're like, yeah, th there's no room or whatever. And he, he literally like, bro, the, the moment's really heartwarming because he's like about to break down on the podcast. And and then literally like a day after that, he thought it was all over with. Uh, they hit him like, yo, can you be on the plane like a Saturday? We got to fly you to like Dublin or some shit. What? And then from then on, it's, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, it's lit, yeah, it's lit. But that shit's so crazy to think like the impact of the label that you guys created and the power behind the music and all this shit, like the energy behind the shift that you guys bring to the culture what it does for yeah, so many other people. scary. Bro, that's a, that's a, uh, that's it, it created, it created it. this. No, for real. Like he, for it, real. that shit created Black Widow Cream. Like, that's crazy. Me going with Q, when I came to LA, it was like, okay, I'm gonna come out here. I'm doing music shit. Music, film, like I did all that paired with each other. So when I came out here, I'm just, I'm just gonna try to do whatever works. And then I just, my whole goal is to build a platform, but I didn't realize what it was. And slowly video became a thing. And then to do Q's tour, I mm -hmm. built an audience. I never had that before. It wasn't like big, but they were the ones that asked questions and that shit turns to this shit. And I'm like, oh, cool. I literally said I want to move to LA to build a platform and the platform is now Black Widow Cream. That's hard. That's fucking wild. That's hard. That's a That's direct go, effect bro. from Musa, bro. That's sick, right? That's literally Musa watching some shit I did for Kembe at South by Southwest off of fucking like a 30 second video. That's sick, bro. That's crazy. That's really, really sick. Like for real, for real, bro. Man, that's crazy, man. Shit. I really don't even know what to say to that, bro. Like, shit happens bro. <laughs> like for real man shit happens it's weird man. like it's weird to think like it's so big that you don't even, it, it's like that there, there's no real effect like does that make sense like it's just tight like that this shit works so well that uh some people will like literally like um you know drink like they sit there and think about this like when musa hit us and told me that i was tight I was like, oh shit. He's like, I'm a, you know, Musa. He's like, mm -hmm. boy is tight, fast turnarounds, this, this, and that. Like, we really fucking with him. We're going to bring him on a TD World Tour. This is back way before Q's <laughs> Tour. That's crazy. And I was crazy. like, the TD World I just found out exclusive shit. <laughs> I'm like, oh fuck, I just found out they're going on. Everyone's going <laughs> to go together. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I just figured this shit out. I'm in Iowa. No, I'm not supposed yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, where, where, where? And it's me they want? I'm like, where? I'm like, oh my God, bro. I, I'm buying things. I'm, I'm getting gear. Like, I'm thinking, like, I'm about to, I just won the fucking lottery. I literally have a video clip. But this shit happened where they, where they told me that Musa said this shit to Craig. Craig's the one comes back. He just called Craig. Yo, he, they tell me all this shit and I'm just sitting there because I, I skipped the dinner to edit videos. I'm editing in the kitchen. They come in, they start telling me this shit and they're filming me too and they're like, yeah, they want him to go on the TD World Tour. Everyone's like, I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, fuck. What? Bro, that moment plus the next six months of my life 
or me sitting here thinking I'm going to LA or going to wherever. I call Moose, I'm nervous as shit. I don't know this guy. Moose, I could barely hear him. I literally pulled over my car on the highway one time to hear, like he finally answered. I'm like, hey man, I just want to know, like, is the tour happening or whatever? And he's like, hey, yeah, we gonna work on a champion. I'll let you know. And then he'd hang up and I'm yeah, like- Yeah, 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 Moose being Moose. Yeah, so I'm like, I gotta go to LA. But bro, my literally, my whole life changed. For real. The way I positioned my move was around that label. You That's know what I mean? Crazy. That's, That's sick, fucking bro. crazy. That's Think about sick. how many people that do that shit because of what you guys do. Nah, for you sure. know what I mean? For sure. Like you emulate. The That's just scary, man. It's That's weird, really, right? Really, really, for real. That's tight shit though, dog, that you can really change somebody just whole life and shit just off believing it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like for sure. Millions of people, bro. For sure. Millions of people and then thousands of people that feel like they have a chance to become like, like you, just the LA show. Look at everybody that Vinny, Starks, like, fucking ex all these people that were there with cameras just camera people I'll be alone off that too. just camera I'll people alone like my squad everyone that's there bro like it's really funny to think like they are all here trying to get their shot like they want to be noticed and taken care of For and like real, go bro. work and be a part For of this real, shit bro. like For that's real. fucking weird bro that's crazy shit man but then it's it's dope that we give niggas that opportunity to even <laughs> try to get their shit off yeah. still, you know what I'm saying yeah that's dope bro like that's it's just dope everything work hand in hand still though Coming, I know this is me talking a shit ton. Sorry, but That's me okay. coming to the to the to the uh, blank face tour. I, my first show was not your first show. It was uh, Michigan, mm -hmm. second or third show or something. I had to miss the first two, and because of a wedding. Last time I said that, I missed those first two shows. Q was like, "That's some white. That's a real <laughs> yeah, white yeah. person shit to <laughs> miss the tour because of wet, your friend's <laughs> wedding. A wedding supporting your people. Yeah, right. Goddamn, <laughs> uh, dumbass Q. And uh, I go to that show. And I don't know nobody but you, kinda. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like you yeah. came to the house and I saw you or whatever. Yeah, maybe we said talked I to went you. Up for, yeah. yeah, I remember. And then uh, and Keem, and that was yeah. it. And Keem was being Keem, to, you know, busy. And then, but you were the first person to like really talk to me for a minute, like no, for sit sure. there, and I was like, all right, cool. Because I feel like you are the, you're like the, you sniff people out first, mm -hmm. but also make sure people are comfortable no, no matter sure. what. Like, for sure, for sure. Which is a dope trait about you because that shit would have been fucking mad awkward if that people wasn't that. People person, man. Right. <laughs> yeah. What do you feel like is the biggest struggle out of all this shit? Uh, man, I don't want to, um, because I, I, this topic is like, I feel everybody try to speak on it, the mental health. You get what I'm saying? I think please do. I love that shit. I feel like that that's the biggest struggle. They don't get spoke on enough with mm. this shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, cause you could lose your mind. Yeah. Like for real, lose your mind out here, bro. And I I really feel that that need to be spoke on. Like a nigga could hit the tour. Like just imagine, like, like you hit the tour, right? And you think this about to change your whole fucking life. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? You go home and it's just back to it's just back to normal. You yeah, know what I'm saying like that's the hardest shit. Think of that. That shit could fuck your head up. Like, it does it, fuck my head up. You know what I'm saying? Up. Like, yes. Just think of that, bro. Like so, it's just all that kind of shit. And that's why I do be on people's head like that on the road. Like I'm like, bro, I gotta. You gotta build that. You get what I'm saying? Like you gotta get right because it's hard. It's really hard, dog. Yeah. Like for real, for real. Like, like I think that need to get spoke on. Like you get what I'm saying? Just. Just with, even with, just with the whole entrepreneurship, like that shit, it could fuck your head up. Yeah, <laughs> like you get what I'm saying. Just being an entrepreneur in general, bro. Everybody just see the glory. You just you get what I'm saying. Like yeah. it's all on Instagram. Everybody just look like you're doing a look. Right. You get what I'm saying. Yeah. But nigga, you really freelancing. You got you trying to figure this shit out. Right. Every day. Yeah. You get what I'm saying. Like so, I don't think people know that part of it. Like you get what I'm saying. Like was there like moments? Um where you would go through that shit, but you found mentorship. Like, do you remember anything that you learned from people that you get off the road? And I think you're, what you're talking about is like, you literally go from a steady A check, B, a schedule. Facts. C, Facts. Uh, you're surrounded by people that want to scream your name and fucking, they Facts. want to be there, they're there for you. Facts. And then you go back to, I'm in my apartment and I'm just kind of like, uh, what the fuck do I do now till the next one? You know what Facts, I mean? Facts, bro. Like, but was there, when you come off that shit and you feel that, was there anything you remember like, that shifted it that made you deal with it easier uh for that nah for me man like it's 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 easy to stay busy in tde you get what i'm saying like it's just we got a grip of artists so like stand the stand busy part was that's easy to do like for me like i was saying earlier like that wasn't my situation and, and you know what i'm saying like yeah. i was just i could i was cozy at the crib like right, you know what i'm right. saying like i'm straight yeah tilled whatever the fuck tours yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah, i mean yeah, like yeah. so it's t though that's weak to be that way you yeah. know what i'm saying like but like for me now, bro. Like, um, like I was saying, that complacent shit. Like I don't want to be in that, so I just just go hard. Like whenever I'm off tour now, bro, I'm just planning on the next play. Like, right. For sure. Even during that time, like when I when it when I when I was off tour, it's like 
bro, I gotta get the, you gotta get the, you gotta just make sure you got that bag coming in, bro. You just, for, like, how can I say this shit when I'm trying to say, bro? So basically, dog, like for me, if you um off tour and shit, dog, you gotta stay busy. You gotta keep doing whatever you're trying to do, dog. Like, like I'm trying to keep, damn, I'm, I really lost my train of thought this but shit. But do you man. think of it, is it something like to, to stay like set in the sense of feeling accomplished as far as like finance or, you know what I mean? So say 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 you're not on a salary, right? You're a right. DJ that right. DJs for someone, they're bubbling, whatever. You go do the tour, you're, you're a videographer, you're right. a fucking tour manager, whatever. Because right. that's really it. Like everyone else that tours isn't good right. after that. Like right. they're not, right. the right. money doesn't just keep coming in after you stop touring. Like right. you have to go find your side hustles and shit. Right. Right. So is it developing that? Is it like developing like what's going to be the next, either the next hustle that helps you elevate your shit or find something that's going to like offset your uh, normal expenses coming in or take care of your sh- you know what I mean does that make sense yeah yeah so you speaking for me or in general or for you in general but also like what just like, that whole yeah so, say someone's going through this shit right now like what do you push them to do if you could give your two cents on it like that's worked for you, you because of what you've got gone you. through personally got you <clears throat> so bro what I could give the advice I could give people bro is don't be scared to, <laughs> to, to, to hit niggas up and like try to get some work bro like yeah. don't be scared to do some free work bro like cause that shit could help you out you get what I'm saying Simple. just you gotta just get out there like get the just niggas be scared like they feel T hitting up and also people hit up the wrong people too though like if you really you gotta try to stay busy man if you get off that tour just don't bank everything don't put all your eggs in one basket right. like, you get what I'm saying right, like, right. cause this shit it ain't like that like for us if you we on tour for like every two years type yeah, shit right. like, every three years yeah. you get what I'm saying so Especially cute now yeah, facts, being facts. a father and shit, facts. like real family man, facts. bum at his house. Like, so, so for me, nigga, I gotta, I, I always learned that. Dog. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like top, he he embedded that shit. Like he he taught us that early. Right. Like nigga, hustle like you broke, regardless. Uh, yeah. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I was able to to, to chill because I always had shit going. You right. get what I'm saying? Like right. I could just, I'm not tooting my own horn, people. I want y'all to really, you get what I'm saying? Like yo, nigga, you gotta. Get some money coming in while you like passive income. Yeah, <laughs> you get what I mean. Right. Learn that, bro. Right. Like really learn that. Like you get what I'm saying. Like what was some of the shit that you would do when you're off the road that that worked for you? Man, I mean, bro. Aside, it's basically like just continue to DJ with all the other artists, or was it like finding like stirring up shit? Like, would you ever try to go out and do like your own uh, like play? Like, all right, you know DJ Mo Beats? Yeah. Like he's I always see that motherfucker playing at nightclubs. Like he's for going. Sure. He to- for that's sure. his like thing. You know that's what, I mean? what I'm saying. Like I never did. Like I used to play, make plays, just just outside of this. You get outside of music and shit. I take my bread and go and put it somewhere else. You know what I'm investment saying? Like, wise. Investment wise, investment yeah. wise, just just try to make the play from there. Like that's you get smart. what I'm saying? Like on that type of shit. Right. So now, like, all that shit is going so good. Now I'm like, all right, bad. I'm gonna just really get in the Mac bag now. Right, right, you get right, what right. I'm saying? Like, so yeah. I'm focusing on like investing I never. In you. Yeah, for real. Like that's what I'm on investing in me mm-hmm. now. You get what I'm saying? So in reality, dog, I never really did DJ gigs outside of tour. You get what I'm saying? Like, unless I was like... That's crazy, though, because your ear's so low to the ground, like, you really hear everything. You know what I mean? Like, facts, facts, facts. The shit would be a vibe. Facts. Like, and there's mad bags in that. Facts. I just... I was so cozy. Like, I'm really... Yeah. Like, that was that was the issue. Like, yeah, the yeah, complacent yeah. shit was really the issue. Like, right. you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. I I was good. Like, you get what I'm... I already, no, that makes sense. You get what I mean? Like, I'm getting bread. I'm cool. Right. You get what I'm saying? yeah, yeah. Now, like, I'm like, all right, bad, I'm bullshit. Like, you feel me? Yeah. Like, I had that moment, my nigga, like, all right, I'm bullshit, bro. Like, <laughs> like, like, for real, though. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. like, for real, like, for real. I'm like, all right, bro. I'm like, bro, I'm too cozy. Like, my nigga, I'm really, really cozy. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So, nigga, moving forward from that point, nigga, I'm like, all right, it's over. Like, like I'm about to really go for the gusto. Like, yeah. you get what I mean? Like, it's, it's all here for me. It's lit. Like, you get what I'm saying? I'm about to just really take advantage of the situation I'm in. Like, I really... Got comfortable, bro. It's th- it's also thinking like, what would someone else do? Like, all right, go back to Blank Face tour. What if Slim Facts. Slim came in? Not Facts. say Slim figured the shit out and made it yeah, yeah, manageable, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? And you have the relationship beyond that. But what yeah. if he did some crazy shit? Like, what if he could backflip and you that. can't backflip? I thought of that. Last. You know what I, I mean, I thought and he was like, that. I like backflips. Yeah, on my yeah, show. I like niggas doing backflips yeah. off the stage yeah. and do that shit for me. Word, yeah, word, word, word. What no. if he did that? And then what if you don't get the call back? You know what I mean? Like, is does that help you when you think about like, man, literally someone could come in at any point or someone else is just doing the shit that I should be doing too? Like YouTube. Facts. Everyone's being on YouTube. Facts. Everyone's Facts. been on YouTube. Facts. Something about it is like, okay, that's that's a lane I need to be in, but like does that pressure ever like motivate you? 
Hell yeah. Like it, it now, like I didn't yeah. care before because I just, like I know my place. Right. You get what I'm saying? But I, that's me taking it for granted. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, right. so I was like, all right, maybe I'm like, I'm really like, I really had that moment being like, yo, this shit, I'm bushing right now. Yeah. Like, you get what I'm saying? So, like, I know my position in TD. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, we so loyal to each other. Right, right, right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I know my position for real, but I, I just don't want to feel like I'm taking it for granted now. Right. Like, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, for sure. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's what I'm saying earlier. Like, bro. What if this shit stopped? Like, right. what if TDE, like, what if I, like, it's a lot of artists, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of artists that, yeah. that ain't cracking, that cracked right. before. Right, Luckily, thank thank you niggas, you get what I'm saying? Luckily, we I'm, I'm in a position that I could I could figure that out now. Right, you right, get what right, I'm right. saying? Like, yeah. whoo, like, nah, it, it could have been, like, for real though. Yeah. Like, for real, so, like, man, me me taking all that for granted, I, I learned my lesson, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, a nigga went broke so many times, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's just so much, bro, financial literacy, right? all this shit. Like, nigga, I went to Centennial. They didn't teach us none of that. Like, I had, I learned all this shit later. Self-taught. You get what I mean? Like, so, right. I'm still learning, bro. Like, so, bro, hell yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, luckily, nigga, like, for real. <laughs> like, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Luckily, this TD shit going, nigga, because I went broke a grip out here playing. Like you could you could run through like I know niggas in mad they be like all right this nigga MC Hammer like he lost like all his millions yeah, you get what I'm saying yeah. like when the nigga hear that you be like oh this how the fuck but like that's not that's a very uncomfortable place we all, we just talked about this shit the other day I don't know if we did uh like For be, real. be putting yourself in an uncomfortable position you know what I mean being For willing real. to be put well you weren't. You almost sometimes you don't choose that shit. Yeah, obviously. yeah, yeah, yeah. Word, but like for real. that shit will change everything for you or whatever. Like you don't really need to figure out how to focus Facts. on shit. I might call the Facts. finance person and figure out how I deal with taxes properly. Facts. You know what I mean? Like, Facts. yeah, that shit will grow you up real quick. For huh? real, bro. Like so, like all that kind of shit just really like was a, a, a lot of lessons that I needed. You get what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't. You you had to learn it to go through it. You had to go through it to learn it. There we go. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah. so, if I didn't go through none of that shit, bro. Hell no, I think I'd still be bullshit. Right. <laughs> you get what yeah. I'm saying? Like, right. like for real, like, like luckily, man, I was able to like to bounce back all them every time. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, right. make sure y'all got the bounce, like no homo. Make sure y'all got that bounce back, bro. Like, like for real, like just go for the gusto, my nigga. Like, like for real, bro. Right. Like, Cause if I was like every time I I fucked up and did stupid shit like trying to put money here, and I'm like, I shouldn't do this. I'm gonna shit. edit this podcast later. I'm gonna take out the no homo part, and then I'm gonna say it. He, that's what really attracted me to him. I'm gonna go for the guts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. That'll be the social that we'll put out and get everybody to watch this shit. <laughs> yeah, Magwall's uh, different. Yeah, I'm different, man. Uh, who, who, who do you feel like is like the the your number one or your your main supporters? Like the people that keep uh, pushing you, believing in you, all that in shit. The camp. Just in general, in life, like who do you in go life. to the most? You know, what I mean, when you're looking at like the people you lean into, because that there is a time where the curtain closes and right. you can become you. Right. You know what I mean? Right, shit, man. I got, I got my lady. Yeah, she, she's always there and shit. Like a lot of the shout out to all the fucking dudes backbones, man. Shout out to my girl. You get what I'm saying? She held me down with a lot of shit. Then the guy, we got K Dot. We got my cousin, uh, Bobby, Moose. Like my whole, I'm really. You get what I'm saying? Like I got a great ass support system. Yeah. <laughs> like, like for real, I got a good support system. My right. Nigga. Like support your friends, man. I live by that. Right. You get what I mean? Like, yeah. Like really support your people, my nigga. Like for real, I would have lost my mind so many times without these niggas. Right. Giving me my reality checks. Yeah. You get what I mean? Like yeah. for real, for real. So that's like, luckily I got these niggas. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Like, and these are the same dudes that like, and women that helped change everything for me. Like, right. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't think if I had them in my corner, bro, I'd have been going crazy. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. like for real. Yeah. Man. Collapse the whole shit. Facts. Would have been going crazy. Nah, I'm big in that shit. Like for real. You gotta surround, surround yourself with the people that can keep Facts. you intact. Facts, bro. I want to ask you. So we do a we do a we have a Patreon, and so we always do a Q and A experience. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you some questions from the community. Okay. Um, you can take your time or answer them quick. It don't matter. Let me refresh the page though, because people may be asking questions while we chat. <laughs> All right, Colton Batcher. He said, and, I, and some of the shit we may have talked about. I haven't read any of them yet. Super dope that I'm having you on the show. What's one piece of career advice that you would give yourself uh, when you were younger? So prior to working with major artists. Man, my just don't give up, bro. Really, it sounds so cliche, bro. Just really, really see. I gave, I follow my career advice. Right. <laughs> like you get what I'm saying. I follow, yeah. I follow my career advice. So, so what I tell y'all is, don't give up, bro. Like the sky, not even the limit. Like you get what I mean. Like you can go further. Like right. you get what I mean. Like you got to believe that though. You really believe in yourself, bro. Don't let nobody get in your head. Like for real. That's for probably real. the worst shit. 
For what real. people really try when you have like one negative ass person that really like resonates with you for some reason, like you feel like you got to believe the shit they say. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Boxing yeah. that shit out is so goddamn Facts. crucial. Facts. Uh, <laughs> really? Aisha says, my man, my man, Macwap, uh, I'm stoked to hear this interview and sure you dropped some amazing knowledge. I have the hardest time asking questions because I know they'll be answering the podcast. <laughs> so my question is, can we expect another tour soon? <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Shit, I don't know what kind of tour you asking, but we always on tour. <laughs> you know yeah, when you guys so, go to Europe, the U.S., so you guys just did. We just finished Euro, the U.S. You did tour. Australia. Right. U.S., and this is all under um, Crash Talk. Yeah. And then you go to Europe. Um, Europe is like 20, late, 20. late January. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Okay, word. So, yeah, fly to Europe, girl. Uh, <laughs> Jason says, how do you get comfortable with being uncomfortable? Damn, that's hilarious. How do you get comfortable with being uncomfortable while touring while traveling on tour and how did you get yeah he's just asking how did you get started but when you're do you get comfortable being uncomfortable with the travel life like living out a suitcase not you know not having your own personal shit your dog whatever the fuck it is like do you ever find yourself uh feeling uncomfortable on the road like or are you just used to it yeah, i'm used to it now though man like there's something about that shit where it feels like light do you uh, tell me if this is true for you I feel like when we leave or we're on tour or you're doing jobs for like a couple of weeks or whatever, right. it's like life freezes. No, for sure. You know what I mean? For sure. It really do though. Like you don't know what day it is no right. more. And it's she probably just, knows it's like it gets hard. Like you realize that, damn, it's been three days. Like I'll call you later and then all of a sudden the show's happening sure. and you're like, I'll text you tonight. And then sure. like, you know what I mean? Like sure. life really freezes. It's that really shit's freeze, you, you be up in that just moving so fast. Like you get what I'm saying? So yeah. you just caught in that world. Right. For sure. That's funny. Uh, Damo says, um, Damo, I already said his name wrong. He says, congrats on the rapid success of MacWap TV. It's the return of the Mac. Mm -hmm. What are Mm -hmm. some of your most uh, memorable studio moments with the camp? Um, He keeps going on. Let's see what else he says. And how have you learned over the years? uh, To how how have what you've learned over the years translated to your success? For example, how do you stay grounded while being real as possible in a shady industry like hip hop? (laughs) What are some weird wise damn he kept going what are some weird wise words you've heard that kept you motivated basically if you has there been shit in the studio or whatever that's you know kind of influenced you or allowed you to like level up um in the studio yeah what's some memorable moments in the studio like parsons i didn't realize he had shot the time when, when yeah when Doc, yeah, yeah, you were yeah. in that show weren't you yeah, yeah that was a big moment i wanted to cry when i watched that no, shit and sure. i'm literally an island i don't know nobody for sure that was a big moment but shit man the the best moments to me was be when when, when we were struggling in the studio you get what i'm saying just having them dreams like you get what i mean like yeah like that was like the best moments to me for sure like just having just all the homies broke as fuck right. sleeping on the couch right you get what i'm saying just the unknown right. what's next you get it's still that way everybody you don't know what's coming but you get what i mean just yeah. that that was just that moment right you there, you ever feel like especially now as you start to get more into producing your own music like mm-hmm. the time is a you you have an incredible opportunity to like tap into a school that no one can pay for right you know what i mean right so you could be in the studio if someone's if dre is there you could be in the studio with ali you could be in the studio with all these incredible producers have you had any of those moments where you've been in there where you can just like kind of soak up game and is there anything that you remember from those moments where you've you've you could mention i guess you know uh, what i mean like that like if you really think about that bro like you literally got access yeah, sure. to the illest for school sure. on earth for sure um Man, honestly, dog, I think uh, I'm trying to see. Could you uh, say that question again, Ben? Let me see All if right. I could. Uh, you been uh, in, like, imagine, I'm trying to think of a good scenario. Any, anyone, like, you just drop in on people's studio sessions, right? right? You're right. in the studio with Kendrick. You can be in the studio with Dot. You can be, or with uh, J-Rock. You can be with anybody. Right. Right? These people recording with the illest people on earth. Right. You know what I mean? They're recording with the illest producers. Like, being in the room, especially now, as you start to get into the world of, like, you want to produce your own music, like, do you remember recall any moments where you were like you really are just in the studio with like amazing producers or uh, an artist and you'll be able to like snatch up some knowledge that's happening in 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 real time oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. okay bad 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 like it was um been in the studio with swiss beats it was like diddy was in there it was a for q album on blank face the shit he produced i don't know the name of it (laughs) you get what i'm saying right the record he produced but like seeing like how swiss really really like got in that bag like he was like bro he snapped into character. Like, I don't even know if it's, he was snapping into character or not. Right. That's my first time around this dude, but. Lord have mercy. Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? He was really like, bro, just to see how he curated all that shit, the sounds he was just pulling. You get what I mean? Like, if I hearing shit, I'm like, why would he? Was this just one day? 
This is all one day. All in one day. This is all one day. Like we walked in there, it was a uh, Diddy Swiss in there. You get what I'm saying? This is my first time getting introduced to uh, 1942, the Don Julio shit. Yep. You get what I mean? It's all this shit, right? And I'm just really seeing, like, just seeing him just put this beat together, like, yo, <laughs> like, you get what I mean? Yeah. Like, and it's the sounds he using. I would, I would have never thought to, you get what I mean? Like, yeah. why would he even do this kind of shit or whatever the case? Right. But he's still like, it's still Swiss. You get what I'm saying? So I'm up in there just getting all the information I can. So, so what I picked from that, bro, is like, bro. <laughs> you really, really, really think outside the box, like right. you get what I'm saying. It's really no, it's no limit to this production shit. Like mm. you get what I mean. Like that's really what I learned from that session. Like, but it's them kind of moments every session. You get what I'm saying. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Did he ask? He basically just asked you to follow him back on YouTube because he follows you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Subscribe up, subscribe. I up. feel like I feel like that that is a. Uh, it's cool to think like. You see people come through and build shit from scratch and like how you absorb like the tendencies of that shit. Like I always try to find ways to teach anyone I'm around like, oh yeah, this is how I did this. And you know what I mean? To be able to ask, access that mentorship is so, mm-hmm. so fucking sick. But like for you producing, like for you, your strategy going into it, is that are you right now in the mid, like where would you say you are as far as like the progress of your production? Like, are you still like very, I mean, we're always students, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. But like, have you, when did you start producing music? Uh, I really started fucking around like two years ago. Seriously? Years ago, like, right. Yeah. Like, I still don't feel I'm as serious as I should be or could be. So I'm moving forward with that, like, lock, lock, right. You get know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I feel like it's a space, right? You could be in. You just acquiring so much information. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? And I was just like, yo, bro, goddamn. Right. You get what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I felt I got a lot of information. You could never know too much. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm like, all right, bet. It's time to start applying. Right. At least. Right, right, right. You get what I'm saying? So I didn't want to get, like, I felt I was trapped in that box too, just consuming so much information and so much shit. Right. Without even, you get what I mean? Yeah. Like, trying to apply this shit. Do, do you ever find yourself, like, kind of in, like, the writer's block when Hell you're trying yeah. to? Yeah. I felt, like, with, as far as production? Yeah, just. You're trying to come up with some shit. Nah, like for sure. How but do you I, deal with it? Um, or just what do you fall do? back. Like you get what I'm saying. I just fall back and just let the just play or some shit or go do some other shit. Just right. let the beat player do some other shit. You get what I'm saying? What do you do when you're not on tour? Create like like I, I was just like first I normally just was just chilling, just just living life, just going to the studio, just try to do what the fuck ever still. Right. You get what I'm saying? So now, nigga, like it's it's really like I learned so much. Like during that time, I was just getting information. Right. Just trying to get so much information and shit. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like I'm in the space now. It's like, bruh. I got to start applying this shit or what the fuck. Right. You get what I mean? Like, yeah. like I learned so much. I feel I learned. I know how to make beats now. I know how to do all the shits. I just got to do it now. Yeah. Like, for sure. Like, that's the space I'm in. What'd you think about the Groovy Tony episodes? Let's turn this on me. Shit. Dude, what you mean? What you do? You go. You the go. I they feel was like, like I never I feel like they're before. underrated. They, yeah, the, they're definitely the views underrated. and shit, low as fuck. Yeah, they're that definitely shit, underrated. they definitely underrated, bro. Like, that was some next level content right there. Bro, like, so I, sure. I have an idea because we never released. We did the, remember the Australia one with you yeah, guys yeah, on the yeah, fucking yeah. rocket thing going up in the air. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. shit's not out. Mm-hmm. We also don't have any Europe out. So what I want to do is maybe over the holiday, finish that shit yeah. right, and then put it all as one whole episode. So it's like an hour long. Yeah. But add new shit to the early episodes and then just drop that shit. No, that's hard. Line. That's hard. <laughs> I think that's fire, super right? hard. I think that's super hard for sure. Yeah, that's fire, bro. I'm gonna do that shit. Like I don't, that nobody's seen. That's some you got great ass content, bro. Oh man, we got. Yeah, remember we, sure. we caked uh, TF in, in uh, wherever the fuck we work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, random ass city for sure. In Europe, his for birthday. Sure. Damn, sure. there's so much going. There was a lot of shit. cake getting thrown on the blank face tour for sure. But well, out of all the tours you've done, which one do you feel like is your favorite so far? Man, let's see. Uh, Oxymoron was fun And the Blank Face Was super fun For sure yeah. For sure Like that one was super dope It was a, it was super dope The Oxymoron one Sounds like it was Just fucking ludicrous Like yeah, all the was, way through It was fun And then also also The one that was the, One of my best ones Also was uh, The Long Live ASAP tour It was uh, oh, yeah. Rocky Danny Brown And Q Damn, I that forgot like, about that shit. That was the legendary. Was that the tour. one with the, the military shit? Yeah, yeah, that shit yeah, looked crazy. That was that was next level, bro. That was like, yeah, that was one of the others for sure. Damn, that was like some of the realest time, like to be a fan of music. Facts. Like Facts. I swear it was that Facts. era. Facts. That's crazy. Facts. You feel like it's changed now? Like I like the way people absorb music. Like hell yeah, man! It's it's so different now with music, bro. Like everything is different. Like from that time, it was. Man, it's so different. It's, yeah, niggas just consume shit so fast. It's the microwave era. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's totally different. Right. For sure. Totally different, bro. Well, dog, I appreciate you coming through and doing yeah, this shit. Yeah, man. This is a good one. We talked an hour and a half. That was nice. Oh, that was an hour and a half? Yeah. Uh, I thought it was 30 minutes. <laughs>
You probably did pull up thinking you were gonna be here for three minutes. I see both of your phones blowing up and shit. I'm yeah, like, yeah, man, right, busy Mac. Why? No, nah, I'm chilling, man. We can do a whole another hour if you want. No, nah, we good. I don't need to talk to you anymore. <laughs> I'm tired. No, nah, yeah. I appreciate it. It's raining now. We got Keem's baby shower tomorrow. Oh man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put that we're on going record. To turn up. We're yeah. going to turn up. Y'all be there. The address is uh. Yeah, tell them. <laughs> <laughs> tell them. It's what's the? Uh, they got things at Target, and you yeah, can get the man, baby sh- the baby shit for that. Um, nah, but how I end this shit, right? Okay, so I tell everyone to go to your Instagram mm-hmm. at MacWap. And they're going to tag me at Ben Reverse World. Mm -hmm. And they're going to put this hashtag that you're going to pick. So we both know that this person listened all the way through. Okay. So when they finish, they're going to go type that shit. It might be a year from now. They'll type it on whatever your most recent picture video is on your feed. Should be one of my shits. (laughs) Uh, So they'll go comment this shit. So what do you want it to be? Think of something unique. (laughs) Uh, Damn. Okay. We're going to just. Nah. (laughs) He looked right at the logo. Black. Yeah. Let's just do black with no cream. Um, Okay. This I don't want to be too long. We're gonna put Ben's not Macklemore. <laughs> that won't sound good enough because we don't want to talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> I remember, yeah. When, remember when <laughs> when he walked in and I was like, brother. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah, if y'all don't know, Ben and Macklemore got the same oh, fucking name. Oh, oh, you knows. probably told these I niggas told about people. five times. Yeah. Yeah, so he thought he was his brother. So yeah, everybody put, what I say? Ben, ben is Macklemore? Ben uh, is not Macklemore. Ben is, yeah, right. That's, that's not too long. That was a funny ass moment for me, yeah, bro. Yeah, for real, man. That's He's right at, tried to have me come on a couple tours. Yeah, you should. You fucking top. You the top of the food chain with this Damn. shit. Damn. For real. No cap. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, appreciate it, bro. Thank you very much for doing this shit. Yeah, man. I'm glad you had me here. You feel me? Now what? I feel I got my clout up. Yeah, you do. <laughs> we got views. We got views Hell over yeah, here. Man, what, if, you want, if you want people to like pay attention to some shit you're going to do, what do you want them to focus on the just most? MacWap. Just all MacWap. <laughs> yeah, just go subscribe, on me. To, go subscribe <laughs> yeah, to the YouTube yeah. channel. For yeah, real. Man, go look up MacWap TV. Just stay. Keep all eyes on me because it's finna go crazy. No Is there a schedule? Do you post uh, like to like I post every Wednesday? Do you do that shit or no? Nah, I'm too good for that. <laughs> you feel me? The content you gotta go catch it when you can. Yeah, okay. You get what I'm saying? You do but do no. the live shit though, like where you where where we can like watch it with you. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. I do thing. premieres because I like engaging premieres. with my people. You right. feel me? But yeah, I'm uh right now I'm posting. I'm trying to post every day this month. You get what I'm Damn. saying? Damn. Yes, that's how we do it. Have here. you done it? It's we're on the yeah. sixth day. You posted yeah. six videos. I'm about to post one today. I gotta turn my notification gang on. You should. You Damn. should. Make sure y'all click that bell. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> He's a YouTuber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a fucking YouTuber, man. I'm in my bag. I'm in Damn, my bag. You man. funny for that. I'm All in right. my bag, bro. We out. Thank you for listening. Hell yeah. That was fucking funny. <laughs> That's it for episode 140. Huge thanks to Macwa for coming on the show. Listen, each week I'm interviewing some of the most talented creators in the world, and if you have ever wanted to ask them a question directly, now is your chance. Become a member of our Patreon community. You can be a part of the Q&A experience with each of our guests. Not only do our Patreon members get to have their name and question read on the podcast, but they also get to access all the other amazing perks we have to offer, like bonus podcast episodes, exclusive live streams, detailed behind the scenes breakdowns, and so much more. You can check out all the perks over at jointhehomies.com. Appreciate y'all for listening to this episode. But before you start listening to another Black Window Cream podcast episode, stop what you're doing. Hop on Apple Podcasts and leave us a review. It helps. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram at Black Window Cream. And make sure to send this podcast to anyone out there that you think will benefit from hearing it. We love you. We'll see you in a few days, you bitch. <laughs>